with that, we are live. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back for another week of Light of Thalia Plays Odyssey of the Dragon Lords. My name is DM David, and these are the wonderful folks that play Light of Thalia. Um, we will not have Damon today as he got a little under the weather right before session. So send him some love. Hopefully he'll feel better soon. Uh, with that, uh, I don't think too many Nerdiverse things have come out. Oh, there's actually something that I saw right before we went live. Uh, the D&D DMG cover for the not 5.5, one D&D, whatever that edition is called, uh, dropped. And it's like a villain from, from 83, from an 83 comic. It looks pretty cool. Uh, you know, though I personally have been a little bit uh, disconnected with 1D&D &D after the OGL stuff, um, the stuff that they're putting out is looking decent. And and they have this is this is not confirmation. This is nothing that we actually saw, but they have reaffirmed that they are going to publish the new OGL for the new version under uh, uh, Creative Commons, meaning hopefully that third party pr uh, producers are going to still be able to publish things under that license and make money without having to do a significant payoff or, or cut to Watsy for all of that. And that's pretty much it. That's that's the big stuff that I have for nerd news. Is there anything that you guys have? I feel like there was something, but I can't remember now. Oh, House of the Dragon, 11 days. 11 days, so oh, House yeah. of the Dragon. Pew, 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 pew. Yay. Dope. All right, cool. Um, unless we have anything else, let's dive right into it. Um, do you guys want to earn yourself, <laughs> Clancy? Do you want to earn yourself a DM inspiration before before you guys assault this port? As you're the only player without a DM inspiration currently. Uh, by recapping, what happened last week? Why are we here today? What's happening? Who? Or do you want me to do it? Do it. I can give it my best. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh. <laughs> you must do it in song, though. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. No. Or haiku, whichever feels easier. I failed the poetry portion of class. And yeah, yeah you, already, you already ruined so, it. Yeah. <laughs> we already ruined it. All right. No, um, last session, we did a lot of talking as well. Um, we came up with a plan on whether or not we got how far we wanted to how far we wanted to use uh Helen and Carpathos a bit. Um and then there was talks with Hephaestus about plans for uh Pharos and some were very murder hobby Murder hobo e. Murder hobies. <laughs> okay. Okay. A, this is why I never term. do the recap. <laughs> no, that was really good. That, you that just created good. a new slur, so I'm proud of you. <laughs> oh my god. That's good. Right, I'm done. I'm done. You worship, no, you I worship. A, done. You worship a tree now. You worship a tree now. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah. Right, the tree. right the You tree. worship a tree yeah. now. Oh, how can I forget that? Yeah. Uh yeah. free free therapy. Free therapy via a magical tree that definitely wasn't Darien. Um, tree and pee. Is that what we said? Tree, tree. tree. Yeah. Oh, tree? is it tree? It, it might have been tree. Tree. It might have been tree. 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 I believe. Yeah. We're still playing around yeah. with it. It's still new. It's workshop. Yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> So that's in the work. And then Hephaestus tried to sneaky and make more than one uh, of the lances to then try to give back. And Daphne kind of talked to him about it, but we don't know the outcome, so we'll find out. <laughs> um, he made me do a blind roll. Uh, <laughs> We're going to kill Daphne's boyfriend. No! <laughs> He'll come back. Um, <laughs> it's just, it's and then just a... the most important part part of this is the day of the battle we got there uh the gods were keeping the titans distracted so then we could help at the port uh we watched as Hephaestus was getting beat up by a couple of the titans but then Chelsea came in and had a very long eye contact conversation with Lyra uh and then we left off right as Chelsea was saying fuck you to her brother and opening up the sky to which i can only imagine was giant lightning and i think that's where we left off and is there anything else you guys wanted to mention <laughs> um the lightning did split talios in half okay. it did mm -hmm. and split in half cool mm -hmm. <laughs> 
All right. I mean, I was kind of hoping David would just like say it again because it would just be really nice to just hear <laughs> just, it one more time. That he... No, that yeah. one, that one, one hundred percent belong belong to Tyler. One hundred percent. All right. With that, then the battlefield opens up before you. The shouting voices of Eurasian or now Sidonian warriors carries over the hills and the trees as the forces rush up against one another. The hunter battling two titans, Chalcia now joining him, Hephaestus able to throw the other titan over his shoulder and is able to kind of go back into the sky, now starting to fight uh, the titaness that you had seen within the chariot. As you see where the lightning has set fire to a grove around it, the grass itself just immediately turning into ash. Lyra, you look towards the body of Talios, and you see as the hole in the sky where the lightning almost just pulls the very clouds down to strike down at Talios's body, you can see hundreds of thin glowing fate strings dangling down like the bottom parts of a long jellyfish reaching. And in your mind, you hear a very familiar voice telling you, Collect this spark. What? Um, we don't have a way to get it out. You think that to yourself, kind of thinking about that. And the voice responds, Yes, you do. Use the weapon. Draw the spark. You hear the command from the fate. What do you do? I don't know because we're just where are we right now in relation to everything that's going on like geographically <laughs> where are we you are a good mile outside of the the proper city you do see some of the the walls kind of peeking behind the tree can canopy about a mile away you can see the ballistas are manually being loaded and fired in the direction of the armies as the undead are crashing into the sidonian warriors you also see again the sky is now filled with the titans and gods clashing against one another and you can be as close to that or as far as that as you want to be you do know that you have to where their fight is kind of like happening ahead of you and a little bit to the right you have to head a little bit more easterly uh, which is to your left and obviously southward, so ahead, to kind of go around the city and ultimately get to the dock, which you're again trying to get to to get the ships. So you can be you can be right behind the lines. You can be hidden within a, a little bit of a copse of trees if you'd like to be. What do you think you would have decided? Where would you have liked to be? And that is a question for all of you. Darren, I figure I, I assume you would have probably just cast a, a preemptive, uh, uh, what is it called, pass without trace. You're muted. Well, that's because we're really quiet, so I'm mouthing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Remind <laughs> me. I forgot. I forgot. You know, we were reminding I'm, you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be like, yeah, yeah. And I just like, I don't know what I, I do. Shh. And then I cast pass without trace. So there you go. Heard. All right. So yeah, how close would you guys like to be? Uh, so this is close to the dogs or close to the gods? Uh, to the to the troops. Like, do you, did you guys want to be like a little bit off? Like, you cannot be. I mean, you can be approaching the dogs, hundred um, percent. I will say Talios, where he's at, because they kind of split off to your left, would be kind of on the way. So you can definitely you can try to avoid Talios's burning body, or you can approach it. It's really just a choice for you, Tyler. For Lyra, does she does she do as the fates ask, or does she? say no well here's my issue the only thing that is making me hesitate with the whole situation is that i we didn't bring it with us we left
left it, didn't we? I don't, I'm having a brain fart right now. We decided no, we it would be it, bad we left it to in take the it out. Plane, yeah. so we Hephaestus, left it in the demi plane, right? Hephaestus copied it, gave you the, the original back, um, and uh, there are copies that were handed out to you all. So we do have the original? Well, that we know. Yeah. But it's in, in the demi plane, which I don't know if I can get to if we're just out in the open. Right? And we each have a fake, right? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Wield it. Yeah, this this weapon oh, feels natural in right my now. hand. <laughs> <laughs> you mean this one? Yeah. You want it? Lyra. Oh yeah, you want it, and then you pretty. Sorry, so sorry, Jason. Um, no, no. That's... You're pretty sure that the fates would not ask you to do something without giving you the power to do so. Make me an insight or an investigation check. Your choice. Yeah. <laughs> For a total of 23. You realize that in breaking the crystal within which the glaive was contained, Lutheria's protection of the weapon has ceased. Meaning. Right, the non detection was on the gem, not on the weapon itself. Precisely. And you're pretty sure that that also gave an increased access to the fates as they are the ones whose magic created the demi-plane in the first place. Uh, well, then, yeah, if uh, Taliosis dead, moldering lightning in half-body is in the direction of where we need to go, I will book it towards his body, but try and not make it so obvious that that's where I'm going to. <laughs> okay. Are, are you trying to keep that from the rest of the battlefield or your compatriots? <clears throat> um. You know what? No, I think I just book it towards his body. I don't care if people <laughs> see or what they think. First, Chelsea and Lyra have this very long, kind of intimate look between one another. As Chelsea turns towards the sky, fucks up Talieos, and then Lyra just whoosh, flies, books it straight towards the body. What do the rest she, of you do? She, she knows she has to be within 30 feet! What is she doing? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> You know what, Lyra? Go ahead and give me a, a stealth check without the bonus, um, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll for the ballistas whether they actually end up seeing you or not. As you're kind of like weaving in and out of the the trees as much as possible, trying to stay behind the the cover of hills and the like. You know, Lyra very aptly, very quickly, kind of like dodges down and is gone. As you guys just see the smoke kind of rising from Talius's burning body. Level 19, I suddenly got really good at a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh my god, it's like... She is the knight! Oh my god! <laughs> I can't even see her! <laughs> you know, Darian, um, what's your passive perception, though? 30? Oh, it's more than that. Yeah, it's more than that. <laughs> a 30? It's a 30. It's fucking absurd. You still a tracker. You, had, like, you see suddenly a, a, an outline. You see it through the trees. This is like video game logic. I don't know how it works either, yeah. but you see her tracked through the trees. You're like, she's right there. Fuck it, what... And you realize she's going straight for the body. Wait, do you have observing, Helena? Yeah. I think your passive perception is like 35. I looked at D&D Beyond and I, it was 30. Because your perception... Oh. Yeah, I think it should be 30. Because your perception's 15, and then observing gives you a plus 5 to your passive. So, yeah. Like, your, your footprints are highlighted for me. Yeah. Like, I'm just following your footprints. Um, I have a weird, like, stink trail following me. Yeah. <laughs> Is Chelsea um, still there? Sorry. Yeah, she's no, you're battling she's with fighting. the... She, yeah, she's battling with the uh, other titans currently. Um, okay. As you, as you look up to her, so you, you, you see her, though. Can I call to her? Chelsea, although it, it, it probably doesn't matter now because she's doing what I want her to do, but I'll do it anyway. Chelsea, 
Okay, you say the name, and you see as she clashes with a a long white haired man. Uh, he kind of has it uh, currently tied up in a in a like a loose bun. Is wearing breastplate, and it's clearly another titan. As uh, he grabs her by the throat, she takes out a sickle and cuts off his forearm. <laughs> as the blood just kind of sprays across, <laughs> she throws his hand away. As he grows another hand, painfully kind of flying back, she kind of looks towards you. What? She kind of yells down. I know where your mother is. Lyra told me. We can talk out. <laughs> Take off oh, the ring. Good. I, can, I can think with you. And she just... Whoosh, as good. the guy just kind of clocks her across the temple. Oh, no. whoosh, 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 whoosh. And she flies like 500 feet. <laughs> we, did, we didn't have this conversation. <laughs> You, it was in your mind, technically. It was in my mind. It yeah. Was in my yeah. Mind. yeah. You had no idea that that had happened, Argenti. But now Lyra flying off after Chelsea has suddenly turned sides makes a lot more sense in your mind. Yeah. Cool. Okay. All right. Uh, Guys, I'll Chelsea is on our side. <laughs> good. I'm glad oh, you good. told her because I did forget. I did forget yeah. that that was oh, my good. number one thing was <laughs> I was I'm supposed in... to tell you guys. Brought to you by Internet so, Explorer. No, I love it. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I can... I don't think she knows, but I can see Lyra, and she's going towards Talieos's body. Like, do we do we want to go in that direction? Go after her. Okay, oh, let's go after. Her. You're okay. right next to her, Argenti. I don't know why you're yelling the, at everyone. The battle is like pumping my adrenaline listen, listen, through my body. Argenti's just screwing. You make it everyone's face. I'm not an old man anymore. Argenti, I'm broken free. Has that a trace? Literally just muffles things. It doesn't silence us. I need you to bring it down a notch. Why like, are you just... explaining to us how it works? <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> okay. Like so. we've never fought before. <laughs> All right. So you, the rest of you guys kind of take off after Brissa. Um, you're probably the only one. Well, yeah. Brissa, you're kind of like the only one who also has enough speed that you could not only keep up with Lyra, but also overtake her if you really wanted to do that. So you're the only one who could catch up with, with your <laughs> cousin thrice removed. But you could also hey. stay with the rest of the crew. That's that's up to you. I think Darian is also technically faster. I'm 35 than... feet of movement. I can... That's true. And you're not slowed down by a difficult terrain, or did you pick the other thing? Because it is difficult to rain. There's like underbrush and shit. Oh, if it's different, yeah. And stuff like that. Uh, so Lyra can just I... be like, whoop, and I'm flying. Oh, yeah. If she's flying, then I can't catch up to fly. Yeah, I can just fly with, with Lyra. So, I mean, Bristol will just go with Lyra because, you know, she she's her best friend. So, she, Bristol will go with Lyra. Oh, 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 let's not bring that up right now. I do have natural. <laughs> I okay. do have the I do have it where I am not imposed by difficult terrain. Okay, so I guess then Darian for you the same question: Would you try to want to keep catch up with Lyra, or would you want to stay with the rest of the 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 other three? I'm not gonna. I can see where they are, so yeah. I'll stay with the rest of the group and let Brissa go ahead. Brissa, but in um, case they get worried, you make me a stealth check as well. Darian and the others, I'm gonna be real. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna roll to see if they get a natural 20. They did not. Uh, but for you, Brissa, make me a stealth check as well. Oh, oh, Brissa. Brissa's not good at stealth. She just like takes out the trees as she's flying. She's like, oh, that's a tree. Okay. I'm just going and then just like barrels through it. And just, like, <laughs> what's your, what's her AC right now? 19. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. The reason I'm flying through the tree. Okay. It's not the trees, it's the ballista. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you see as you're kind of like flying, Brissa, go to make me a perception check. Lyra, you're very much focused on, on getting towards the body. Um, Brissa, you can see glinting steel coming off of the, the ballista heads, and you can tell that they're a little bit different. Even from this distance, you can, you can tell that they are... There's certainly an amount of artifice involved with this that is a little bit unlike what you had seen before. The the mouths themselves, uh, or like the tips of the ballistae are actually created in such a way that there's like a metallic dragon that sits above it. And you can see as they fire, there's a little bit of energy that collects within that and then as they spot you flying, very quickly catching on to that you must be an important unit. It's like a little hero beacon for a uh, you know, Warhammer uh, kind of starts coming down on you. As a thing, <laughs> multiple ballistas 
just absolutely every single time they hit a tree, they just splinter it apart. Um, as you can see that there's like, there seems to be a contained magical energy that just kind of tears it apart. Um, with this one, you know what? You roll me a d4, Alex. Three. All right, with a three. All right, you see that one of the bolts that was fired towards you suddenly turns, or like as it approaches, it's just like this long bolt of cold. As it hits you on the side, you end up taking 42 points of cold damage. Oh Brissa. my god. Holy fuck. Ooh, I see that in the front. Ooh, that looks like it hurt. <laughs> All right. Um, as you just kind of curse underneath and uh, see it kind of like starting to to recede, but there's a pretty good bruise on the side of your of your uh, uh, rib cage where you kind of just got nicked by the thing. Um, you keep up though, um, as the rest of them kind of sneak through, are staying hidden within the within the forest. And as soon as Darren and the other is going to be able to catch up with you guys, um, you will be covered within that again. That means, though, that by the time that you kind of arrive in the clearing that is fairly well covered by trees, no more ballista bolts are hopefully going to come at you. Lyra, you arrive. <sighs> Your wings kind of unfurling and then tucking back in. There you see the split body, the corpse of Talieos, as he's like his head and part of his uh, torso is hanging one way, a shoulder and the rest of the torso the other way. There's smoldering happening around that as there's like a lightning still kind of cascading around it. You step forward. What is going through your head as you see his smoldered, kind of like a burned skin, his smoldering beard, his eyes kind of like white with shock? Um, I think her first thought is initial just like a weird sick form of joy at the fact that he's dead again um because we've still dealt with so much that his dad put us through and he put us through and we already killed him once but he came back to life and so it's like she's happy but it's not something you should probably be happy about <laughs> um and then her next thought that immediately takes over is uh i still don't know what the fuck i'm doing how am i supposed to get this spark out as you kind of think about that you suddenly hear ah, poof, as brissa kind of lands next to you you can see that her shoulder her rib cage is just covered in ice as you kind of like fries it off of her uh kind of like freezer burn stuff on like food or something like that as you kind of pull it off some of the skin kind of comes off with it and she's like ah kind of looks towards you. Brissa, as you see Lyra standing there before the corpse of Talios, do you say anything? Yeah, Brissa, does that... next time, can you please just tell us if we're going to, like, go somewhere off, and then, you know, we could be a little bit more stealthy? Nice. She's just, like, rubbing it off. She's, she, like, kick Talios. <laughs> um, you oh. kick the body <laughs> as uh, the corpse finally now falls backwards. <laughs> The arms kind of splay out. Um, as you do that, Lyra, you kind of step forward, having those thoughts of like, how the fuck am I going to... Brissa, you look over as thousands of light strands, beginning at Lyra's hand, form outward and slowly weave themselves together in a long shaft and ultimately the glaived weapon, the Promethean fire, now in her hand. So I take it you're, you're getting this spark as well for them? Uh, yeah. Oh. That, the, she just the, doesn't see a point to lie anymore. <laughs> I, be, I mean, you know, I don't care, Lyra. Yeah, I, I, I've told you this numerous times, right? You, like, you, you know what my goals are. I don't really care if you give this one to them, like... You, you, you don't have to hide, is what I'm trying to tell you, from me. I don't, I don't, I don't know what I, if I've, you know, 
I've said my apologies to you, and you know what I did what I did, but... And I regret it, but you know you don't have to hide just what you're doing from me. help then because I don't know how to use this and I'll just hold I, out <laughs> the Promethean fire <laughs> I mean I, I don't really know how the magic stuff works but I mean a glaive I mean, stabs I, I assume it's like stab cut but I that's not my expertise Chris will, will grab the glaive and just stab it in you grab the glaive and you can both immediately upon touching you can feel just how incredibly powerful the magic that emanates off of this finely crafted weapon is you grab it and you can feel just like it's it's weird it is heat that emanates off of it but it does not burn you you step forward as you just whoosh, unceremoniously cut into the belly of the titan suddenly whoosh, there's just a light that seems to emanate out of the stomach and starts to almost like a like a straw travel up into the shaft as it gets towards the end of it you suddenly see the light just explode and a thousand strands just unravel. The weapon itself starting to unravel, slowly moving down the shaft and ultimately arriving at its tip, the, the blade of the glaive. As at that point, you're pretty sure the spark has been thoroughly consumed. I would, and the, I would say and next the fire just, is also gone. And the fire is also gone. Oh. Was that supposed to happen? I, you know, I think we needed the fire. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I don't really know what's going on. Like, like most times. Um, I do think that the actual one is still in the demiplane. Uh, I think maybe they can just make one when we need it now, though. Well, when they and need us to have one, probably. That is that that is handy. I mean, you you know, I have no issues with you and the fates. I mean, I made a deal with them. Like, I don't I don't really care about it. Just just talk to me before you run off, so I don't get hit by a giant ball of ice. As you say, that, you hear fire. crashing of the underbrush oh, behind go. you, with Darian <laughs> in the lead of everyone else, kind of pushing through into the slow copes. Oh, never mind. It's not bad guys. We all could have gone together. <laughs> we all could have gone together, and it would have been quieter. <laughs> I, I came because you, you know there was a few trees in Lyra's way, and I really thought those trees were dangerous. That's I've uh, seen them move. I got here fine. Yes, there is strength in action. We talk too much. Yeah. To did the you next get, thing. Yeah. Did you get what you needed? Whatever it was, you were sucking out of him. It, it, there was no sucking portion. You know, I, I, I just want to make that portion clear. Yeah, um, there's only two people in this party that like to suck things out of God. I feel yeah. personally I prefer, attacked. I prefer King. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go to the docks. We don't have time. We can talk to this later. <laughs> Does Talios have any, like, cool looking items or weapons before we go? Just a quick glance. So, oh, know, yeah, I guess we could loot it. It's God. <laughs> We'll do we'll do some lo looting afterwards. Nothing that you guys wouldn't be able or would be able to immediately attune. But we'll do we'll do our D one hundred rolls. Um, as you guys keep pushing forward, 15, 20 minutes pass as you guys use the cover and you can hear the, the fighting still happening, the, the thunderous booms as the Titans and gods sometimes do clash one, uh, once more and then go silent. Seemingly the combat is taking like a uh, place in multiple places. And that is when you also hear shouting from some of the docks happening. It appears that the Fish Queen is also currently engaged with uh, some of the troops, drawing out some of the forces. And off as you guys are getting towards the beachhead itself, you can see that there are a multitude of giant birds. They almost look like vultures, caked in lightning, blue feathers shining with an inner electricity, uh, being flown by uh, one-eyed cyclopses that uh, are using them like mounts. Of course, oh. you have seen those uh, birds before, Brissa, having ridden them yourself in the past. Oh, well, that's not great. 
I do think if we have it already, we can move Fish Queen from maybe to good. If we have not done that already. <laughs> she was always in the good column. Was she? I, I feel like we were kind of on the fence about her, but it's fine. I just pet Andrea and I go, you're, you're still cooler than them. You're still cooler than those birds. Squawk. <laughs> she looks at you. You don't need to lie to me, mother. Um, as you... <laughs> As you guys are pushing forward, you can see that though a portion of the fleet has been drawn out, it seems like mostly those those uh, uh, rock riders are the ones that have been drawn out and are fighting the battle against uh, what appears to be a juvenile kraken that is kind of like pushing through, taking some of the ships and pulling them down into the depths. Um, and you guys kind of start sneaking towards what seems to be uh, a little fort. Uh, you can see that there's kind of like a square contraption built uh, within which you know the, the fleet itself is lying. You can see that the gate is currently closed, um, but you can think of ways to get around that. The walls themselves are easily 30 feet tall, built out of solid limestone, it appears. And you can see, by the way, more of these uh, dragon-headed ballistae, particularly on the east side of this little pseudo-square fortress. And there's a, a trio, actually four of them, um, on the forward-facing thing. The thing that is probably the most outstanding of this entire port is that the way out of the port is between the legs of a massive golden colossus something very reminiscent of the colossus back in mitros what? <laughs> as you come upon um this fortress that you're trying to get to you can see that there are more patrols of the sidonian guards uh anxiously looking about clearly have not uh, spotted you light of thalia how would you like to get into the fort? You see that on the north end, there is what appears to be a gate that leads in. Obviously, that is also uh, covered by what appear to be a couple uh, um, massive uh, cyclopean creatures that have lightning running down their arms as they're watching the battle far off. Also, by the way, on the east northeastern turret of this little fortress, you can see an interesting contraption. You see what appears to be a round brass platform, easily some 40 feet in diameter. Mounted upon the side, almost like a compass that you click open, is like a little, little a lid, except the lid itself is very much seemingly designed to swivel upon this round platform. What is most interesting about this contraption is that there is a round piece of glass, <laughs> massive piece of glass attached to it. If any of you would like to, go to make me an investigation or a history check, please. Double's back box. 19. Got 22. All right, is that the, is that the finale for the rolls? <laughs> Darren definitely <laughs> like, Darren. let them fucking do it, Aaron. <laughs> Listen, it's a plus zero. They have a better shot than I do. It's fine. D &D yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. As D and D take uh, take this one uh, on the sidelines for a second, um, Brissa, you're like that's fucking weird. Maybe it's like a way to like look at ships from far away, like a lens or something like that, like a looking glass. But it doesn't have like like a, a spyglass. It doesn't have like length to it. Um, Argenti. You swear you have read something about this before. There, there's something in, in ancient Gigan uh, constructs. What was it? You're barely in the tip of your tongue, Lyra. You have done so much historical digging during your search for the lost notes of the sirens. You remember seeing a depiction of a Gigan port that had a weapon like this. And make no mistake, that is precisely what it is. A device that is somehow magically able to draw the energy of the sun and then hyper-focus it, doing massive amounts of damage on whatever it targets within its searchlight. Oh. Does Lyra tell us this? Uh, guys, <laughs> no. <laughs> that's, what? uh... Not good. Not a good thing. That's mm. a stay away thing. But, but what if we sneak up to it and, you know, like, can you make some of us invisible? We sneak up to it 
And then we use it to just kill all of the troops in it besides us. Uh That sounds like a great plan to me. Sorry, David, does it look like it's being banned by anyone right now? Yes. Actually it's being Gigant right now. Yeah, there are two Gigans uh, uh by it. Apparently at the ready to laser down anything that might approach the port. I mean, if we think we could get to it, sure. But we just, if literally the moment they, boop, I don't know what will happen. We'll be done. So, what if we just come up from it from above, and then I could, I can, kill, we can kill two Gigans. That, that is sorry. Yeah, that's, that's so nonchalant. We could just kill two of them. Oh my god. Yeah. We can Where's Yanni? It. He's so quiet. Did he come with us? Ah, ah. I don't he know, guys. I got legs. something in my throat again. I had some meatballs. Oh, something's no. back in my oh, throat, no. and my voice is all funky now. Oh, okay. No. Okay. Well, at least we know he's here. Um, yeah, Wait, do we come the whole from time. above? Is that a short people joke? Come on. No. Do well, we, okay. Do we, do we go from above? We, wouldn't it be in? obvious us? Getting to the above part? Absolutely right. not. Uh, it would not. No? No. <laughs> we are as fast as lightning. Agenti, oh. Have no fear. I, do we... Can, okay, can I can... Do a medicine check on Argenti? I, <laughs> I mean... I can, conjure, <laughs> I can conjure... I can conjure some animals as like a distraction. Like I can, I can make it so like they point the lens in one direction and they're focused on the one direction, while we, I guess, invisibly go up in the other and then like and then drop we, on and, top of them. Yep, and then we kill the two gigans, and then we use the giant sun laser to just kill every other soldier that is here. Yes. Are I we like strong enough? Are we strong? Are two of us or three of us strong enough to move that thing around? Because Chris is really strong. I feel like I can do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Brissa is, if we were putting it in terms that are relative to what we know, uh, Gigan strong. Brissa is Gigan strong. <laughs> okay. It, it, it. Plus, I still got these guys, huh? And Yanni points towards those knuckles that he has that make those uh, gigantic hands appear. Oh, right. Okay. So just so I understand, we're like at like a tree line, mm -hmm. and then there's like open space, and then the fort, right? Correct. Is there a tree line? Like if we moved further down the tree line towards like where that lens is, no. could we get closer to it? To keep no? the fort <laughs> safe, you can see that there's like a hundred foot swath where they very clearly have clear-cut everything, making sure that there are no trees in the way so that if anybody approached the thing, and you just get lasered down. Um, I will say Yanni points out, I mean, I could make everyone invisible at the seventh rank kind of magical capability thing, or uh, I could just it use... a lot of magic. Yeah. I could just use a teleportation and get us right there. I mean, you know, if we just want to go in, you know, fists blazing, yes. we can do that. We should. You know what? I'm, I'm down for that one as well. I think yeah. that's much a safer option. You know, no like chance of it being spotted and everything. If you want to just teleport us right up to there, and then we kill two I mean, want to, I we... don't know. But I mean, it's an option that I wanted to put out there for a public debate, you know? We'll I thought we'd do that. Let's Does do anyone it. have, like, calm emotions for our D or, like... <laughs> I am in the throes of battle. I'm I'm kind of feeling this energy after old man Argenti for like two days. Like, say, honestly, feeling yeah. thyself. Yeah. All right. Uh, so Not are like we all this. in agreement? We're gonna go teleport up there, and we're gonna be prepared for the fact that it's probably not gonna be those only t those two. Absolutely not. Where there's I, one Gigan, there are several. I will also say that you know, like, try not to throw them off of the tower because that might cause other people to look up there, right? For warning, right? You know, it's try to keep Fair the enough. bodies on top as well, all I'm saying. Gigan's right. fall, everybody dies. All right. Is that the plan? Is that how you guys would like to approach? Just, sorry, Damon, if you're watching, just throwing things out that Yanni has at his disposal to make things easy. You know what? It is a great idea, Yanni. So let us do it. 
Thank you very much. much. See, this is the kind of positive reinforcement I need, huh? It's to to be fair. If we're worried about resource consumption, uh, I can turn. Four of us invisible. I think all Yanni of us is better turn, than four of us. Right, where Yanni could use less magic to turn the rest of us invisible instead of blowing a seventh level spell slot. But here's. I say we just go and teleport. Yeah, how are we gonna fly up there? Yeah, I mean, we have Silas. Silas can make it. Yes, and you have Rawr. a fully grown dragon as well. I presume. Right. So fine, fine. Let's tell the boat. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> All righty. With that, Yanni gathers a lot of magical energy, like seventh degrees worth. Oh, shit. Uh, any prep that you guys do, obviously, because you guys have the advantage here. How do you guys want to come into this? Let's, so I already gave Darian foresight. Mm -hmm. sure the best myself. Done. Gave myself gift of alacrity, which I know we don't really yes. have a toggle for. You've mm -hmm. just been putting an icon on us. Mm -hmm. Oh, as a reminder, Brissa, Darian, Yanni, the three of you have fallen, have triggered the death ward before, meaning that for the next seven days, six days now, um, you cannot benefit from the death ward from the ring again. Just as an FYI, um, Darian, are you putting on your helmet or not? I am the knight. Absolutely. <laughs> Wait, <Okay>. how? <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. This is my we're, one trick. We're all going to be blind. Let's, <laughs> we're going to teleport in blind. Actually, you know blind. what? No, you know what? You know what? I won't put it on until we get to the tower. I know okay. that could use up an action, but I'd rather Yanni be able to see where we're going since I know he yeah. can't see. Dope. So I won't put it um, on now. Do you guys want to so heal we'll Hirsa a little bit? Yeah. No, she'll just heal herself. Yeah, she's got that hands. Awesome. Zero? Oh. <laughs> you heal for zero. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I mean, I... I don't mind putting a little healing spirit on you. We are fully teleporting into a fight, right? That's what we've deduced. Is Absolutely. That you get the yeah. sense... I mean, I'll tell you guys. You'll have a surprise round. These things are not expecting you guys to just teleport in. They're on alert. They're just not on alert against that, per se. Yeah. Um. Then I will also cast Crown of Stars on them. If we're going into a fight. Yeah. I mean, First yeah, you guys are there to kill some people, people, no question about it. Well, well, I didn't want to do it if there was still going to be espionage before we get to the big fight. You you think you're probably going to be spotted very quickly once you're yeah. in. Yeah. 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 Two arms. Ignore oh, whatever just sounds, rolled. He sounds it's all old a again. lie. Guys, he sounds old again. I accidentally like, hit myself with Crown oh, of Stars. Good. So. Got a frog good. in my throat. I like this. Um... Alrighty, last thing, just a triple check. I, I, I would say, you know, if the rocks come, uh, does does Brissa know anything about the rocks that she could give like tips, like, sure, like hey, we'll avoid me, we'll hey, they're, they're rocks. Let me a survival or history check with advantage, since you have technically written them before, just not necessarily tended for them yourself. What two one? Ah, <laughs> oh, that isn't that one. Nice. Um. Hang on one second. There's one thing I need to really quick. Do, 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 do. Crown of stars. Crown of stars. Why am I writing this in yellow? It's so hard to see. Um, the rocks. They're clearly. Uh, they were raised by the titans. They have. They were. Uh, um. They were infused with some of the titanic gifts and blood. And so they do have the capability to to have some, some let's call them lightning surprises. So you might find yourself uh, zapped, which could lead to things like becoming incapacitated, losing your reactions. If the effects last longer than four rounds, you might want to talk to a doctor. Oh, wow. Do I know if they're immune to cold magic? Uh, with a 21, you don't believe so. And oh, do I God, think that if I, they stop, like, <laughs> flying in the air, you know, like, they would fall? I mean, obviously, I mean right? that's at all creatures in D&D. &D. Yeah, if you, unless you have a hover speed, if your speed becomes zero while you're flying, you immediately fall. I feel like everyone's seen me fall out of the air enough times to know how that works. Yeah. <laughs> Are we concerned about the rocks? Uh, well, no, yeah. we've, 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 we've. Decided that they're not immune to cold damage, which means yeah. you'll be useful. 
Yeah. So I, yes. I'm just, as I say, if Argenti, if you can, you know, if you see the rocks coming towards us, if you could somehow stop them from flying towards us, they will just plummet out of the sky, and it is a real weakness of them. I will assume my true form. No, that would well, probably draw attention. Wrong idea. <laughs> you know, Not right now. Yeah. You can do that once you're uh, there. <laughs> that could be a good. <laughs> <idea>. <laughs> like I said, if you can like somehow like stop their like their speed or like you know like make them fall out of the sky, great. You know, and, and then I will summon a sleep storm for the legends. All right, oh, there, yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah. This is a great idea. Yeah. Fab. All right, cool. With that, then all of the prep stuff out of the way, are we good to trigger this? With that. Yanni gathers his energy. So yeah, I don't know what it is about those meatballs. Every single time I eat them, I kind of sound funny. All right, here we go. As he casts the magic, you guys teleport into this place. And what you see there is the following. You see two massive Gigans, once again, by this absolutely massive. Like, I mean, the lens itself is bigger than a freaking Titan. This thing is absolutely massive. You can see two more uh, guidance over by um, by what is likely the, the the actual what is that called like the the, uh, the gatehouse. Um, you can see more troops kind of perusing on the east side and the south side, watching the battle currently. As you guys teleport in, we gonna be rolling for some initiative. And making sure you guys have sight permissions. You also see that there is a, what looks like a massively sized horn here, clearly designed to alert against attackers. All right. I am sure, oops. I'm sure that uh, Lyra, you would want to use your D8 for that as well. Go ahead and roll your D8. And then everybody yeah, sorry, I was. Well, at least the foresight ate a nat one for me, so thank you. Nice. <laughs> I roll. Oh, I get advantage because quarter staff, but it didn't roll for. It, so. Okay, just roll one more d20 then. Yeah. Cool. Not a one, a two. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! All right, so one higher. Got it. Got it. Got it. So it should be a 10, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Embarrassing. Got it. All right. A couple of things that I got to just change really quick because those are not technically things that manage themselves. All right, cool. Uh, what should your total initiative be, Tyler? 10. Cool. Everyone else looking the way that they're supposed to, not the way that you'd like to, but just the way that you're supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, with that, um, as Yanni teleports you guys in, I'll say to make things also a little bit easier for myself. That was his action to get you guys in. So he's just like, oh, okay, that's going to be you guys. I believe in you. You can do this. Um, and he's going to just kind of like rush around the side here and kind of take cover <laughs> down below a little bit and then actually do more fun stuff next turn. Um, all right. Very surprised. Kind of just like, no. Oh. Kind of like they were clearly talking to each other in giant as you guys <laughs> just kind of appears like, oh. you can see the eye. It's just absolutely flabbergasted to see you. I don't know how an eye is flabbergasted, but you see a flabbergasted expression. Um, Alex, what does Young Sada do? The pupil just gets really big. Real big. <laughs> Sila Sil knows that the horn is bad, so she will go over to the horn and mm -hmm. try to break it. She knows okay. reinforcements are bad. Alright, go ahead and move yourself. Okay, she flies over there. Um, I tell you what, uh, there are two ways that you could do this. Either Sila starts attacking the thing itself, or maybe the rock around it, or something like that, uh, with attacks, or uh, she could try just an athletics check to just kind of like rip it out of the socket and make it tumble down. She will make it tumble down. All right, going to give me an athletics check. Uh, the DC here is not going to be insignificant. Uh, we'll set it at about a 20. 
She's strong, right? She's strong. Oh. But I will use my inspiration because hey. I have one. Go for it. And uh, I want her to succeed. Oh, oh no! Oh, no man. Silent goes yes. over there and she tears and she pulls. And you can tell, even though it is kind of like polished, um, the thing itself is kind of put in with what looks like adamantine brackets. And so as uh, Silent kind of like does, there's some cracks that appear within the rock itself, not necessarily the bindings. Um, as she moves towards it, I will say that the DC becomes lower each round. But yeah, she uses her action. She tries to like rip the thing off. It is not working yet. Um, does she want to keep moving? Anything as a bonus action? Stay there. What would she prefer to do? She's going to stay there and keep on doing it. Okay, awesome. With that, doo -doo -doo, we have so many surprised people that don't do a whole lot of anything. And that brings us to our jet team. All right. Starting off strong, I'm going to fly 30 like feet into the air. Okay. So you guys Not are already like essentially 50 feet above sea level at this point. Um, so you yeah. fly straight up. Okay. Those guys are 41. <laughs> can I can I see this one? This uh, I forgot how to ping. Wait, this this one? Can I yes. see him from? Mm -hmm. I probably can. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you you are now hovering. You're you're visible to everyone, and everyone is visible to you, as far as you can tell. Cool, sweet. All right. So starting off strong, we're just gonna <coughs> bang our fists together, green light, and we're gonna twin spell a disintegrate. Alrighty. Let's do that. Spell. I'll take my points away. And yeah, we're gonna do it. Six level. All right. As the Look green at that light. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so man, it dies. Uh, flies towards them. That's... They both fail, and they both take some damage. Oh, oh my. Cool. Now, mind you, they're both titanic creatures. As you kind of yeah. cut across, one of them is like, kind of like tries to put their hand up. You cut like part uh, uh, of their forearm and like two of their fingers off. Another one, an entire one of their six arms gets uh, gets cupped off. As they're like, kind of like reacting to you slicing them. But some pretty fucking good damage with one spell. Well done. Oh, and uh, that is gonna be it for me. I'm just gonna be like really menacing. That's what we're gonna do. Alrighty, sounds good. Surprised creatures all about. Brissa, what would you like to do? Uh, she will fly towards the ones that our gentry just pinged. Um, and fly towards them. She will rage as she's flying. So bloop, 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 click the rage button. Otherwise I will forget. <laughs> Fair. Did last time. So she will just like start screaming as she's going and hopefully just like spear this first guy. And make sure that um, that is and on there properly. Mm -hmm. She will do it recklessly Ooh. as well. So I, will, I don't know how to toggle that. So I will just hold alt. Hold up. I'll toggle it for you to make it a little bit simpler. All right, you are now reckless. <gasps> right We'd love to see it. 20. Hell yeah. We'd love Wonderful. to see it. All right. And I will fourth level smite. Uh, and then Jesus also, Christ. And then I will also use the boon of the Titan Slayer smite as well, which should also crit. Um, she did say we could kill two Gigans, no problem. Oh, my word. So, That's true. So one she's thing a woman of her word. Because with my rules, the... the Smite is not doubled. So roll me, um, roll me, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, D8, plus another four, so another 10, D8, really quick. Okay. A million. Okay, and then that plus that is still oh. a fuck ton. All right, you go in there. Versa, how do you fucking just insta delete one of these priests? I think she will just like cut its head off with the Sidon's glaive and be like, uh, it, it should make sure like she shows the second one, the Sidon's glaive, and just like flicks the blood at him, and then goes and, and goes in for the second strike for him. Go for it. 
I can't do math. Is that 223? Is that right? For the damage? Yeah. No, because part of it didn't count. It, it was 160, which is still phenomenal. All right, that's a, that is a hit. We'll do a third level smite. And then uh, the boot of the Titan Slayer's pop. All right. Phenomenal. 90 points of damage is still standing after that. Sadly, I cannot bonus action attack because I used my bonus action. So I will just stay here, like eye level with him. Yes. As she looks at me, and he looks at her. That ballista is not actually part of the combat, so I'm going to delete it really quick. And Darian, it is your turn. <laughs> uh, That's beautiful. Thank you. I will put on my helmet. I am the knight. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye -bye. Oh, R.I.P. Daphne. Darian, 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 Darian. Oh, uh, RIP Argenti so too. <laughs> I am high. Argenti's in the yeah. air. Yeah, you're like because yeah. it's technically a, a sphere. You're like your feetsies might be a little bit dangling in there, but your head is poking Ooh, out of it. My feet. Okay. My grubby um, nubbies. Your grubby nubbies. <laughs> I can't. I absolutely can't. <laughs> that was your idea, Elena. <laughs> yeah. I can still regret it an hour later. That's a free action. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> That's a new shirt. Move over here. Regret. Is a free action. <laughs> and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to help. <laughs> Get it? I just thought Brit would do all that, so I'm just gonna try to help. Um, yes. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. Hang on, my stuff is moving. Incredibly slowly for a second as well. Yay. Helped! I did eight. <laughs> yes. I helped. Listen, I'm doing my part. All of us know <laughs> that is not. The, you will. You will absolutely get there. <laughs> in other ways. Um, you, get to, you get to add a d8 though, right? I for favored foe. Yeah, it says mm -hmm. including when you mark it, oh. you can increase that damage. Yep. Okay, let me. One. <laughs> All right. A little bit and of damage. And then I, uh, I'm gonna do it again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For the queen. I did it again. <laughs> All righty. I did it again. And then do I still roll the d8 for that for favored? I, I believe it's only it's once. once. Yeah, I think it's just the one. Oh yeah, uh, the first time that you hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Anything? Yeah. And anything then... as a bonus. As a bonus, no, but I will. Okay, since I do have more movement, because I move 15, mm -hmm. that gets me here. So I know it's annoying for everybody, but I'm trying to block because the lens needs sunlight, right? To mm -hmm. like work. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to put the darkness in front of it so that way it's not as effective oh, or it won't be able to catch the light. Oh. Like I said, I'm play. doing Smart my play. part. Play. <laughs> play. Play. Awesome. All That's right, that. that is my turn. That's that. Shooketh. Lyra, it's your turn. As uh, you see, uh, Darian just kind of puts on the puts on the helmet, and darkness goes out. You can still see through it. She swings twice at the at the priest. What do you want to do? Um. I think first I will use my bonus action to throw a moat at the horn because it can also target objects. <laughs> so Sorry, I my brain immediately a... went to moat, like the thing in front of a castle wall. I'm like, I, I hope. Yes, I use control <laughs> water. Yeah. I cast it at a ninth level. Amazing. I drown the horn. I love it. No. All right. Go ahead and yeah, peek you away. A crown of stars at the. Um, you, what do you want me to target? Uh, Sila. Just to make it simple. Hey. Or just make oh. the attack roll. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Young Sila. Whoa. That's Oh, yeah, I guess it should just look a little bit. Maybe a little bit. 
Stop telling everybody you're making eggs. People are making eggs. I <laughs> <laughs> <I'm cute. laughs> well, I, I rolled not great, but I rolled a 30 to hit. Yeah, absolutely. It, it kind of hits the side of it as you see the right side of it kind of cave in a little bit. You can see that there's like some holes that form in it. It is still standing, but you did some damage to it. Cool. And then I will shoot some Eldritch Blast as is. At this Titan thing. I would say that you the... that you have advantage because it cannot see where the source of those pew pews are coming from. So hang on one second. And if you, I'll just I'll toggle. <laughs> yeah, I'll just move no, further like, into the darkness. I, I'm gonna say it's like if you have a darkness between you and a target, and the target right. cannot see you, you don't have to be in the darkness to yourself. It certainly helps not being targeted afterwards. But anyway, beside the point, uh, I toggled the blind for it, so I'm gonna make you shots. Cool. Happy with your boss. I've forgotten how to play D and D. One. Oh. Good oh. shot, good shot. Oh. Another word for three. <laughs> three. It's a seven. Oh my god. <laughs> that is also, we both did we both did four. sixteen damage. Oh, okay. oh you're gonna do more. Alright. <gasps> The combination of order. all of those is enough to indeed kill the creature. As you just like um, take, like how do you how do you kill this one? Um, I think instead of, even though I did them one at a time, instead of separately, all four of them just bring from my hand the fate strings, just honing in on the Titan Gigan, uh, and they just grab a different limb and pull him apart. Awesome. And as he just kind of. Well, half of his limbs get torn off of him. Yeah, I, I don't know where you go with it. I would say you might have to be just a little bit more north just so that you had a, a firing line because otherwise the the thing oh, might have fine. been a little bit in the way. So just like oh, in terms yeah, of true. where you're going to end up. Um, Let's see. Five. Ten, right? If I, five, ten. I'll just get further into the darkness. Would that be would that be enough? Oh yeah, that would have been great. Right, okay, yeah. cool. All good? Yes. Awesome. Alright, cool. Stun soldiers. There are no surprise round, but this was one hell of a surprise round. And then we have at the end of initiative. <laughs> She has no idea what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is dark. <laughs> Boy, it sounds like there's a whole lot of fighting going on. <laughs> uh, cool, 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 cool. Um, there's the meta in me that's like Daphne would obviously run up the stairs to try and help Brissa, not knowing at all if the Gigans are down. <laughs> that's fair, honestly. <laughs> but... I think to save time, okay <laughs> to go in the other direction. Are we are we fighting all the Gigans, guys? What's uh? I think, I think we have to like hold them off, probably. Yeah. While well, we use the giant sunbeam. Okay. Um. Okay. There's a spell I've been really wanting to use, okay. but I've been nervous to use it because uh -oh. I don't want it to like get in the way of. Brissa. <laughs> okay. Do it. It's the only one Do it. Do it. it. Do it. Do um, it. Okay, but Palpatine, it could keep them simmer down. <laughs> Darian just blinded everyone. I think we're okay <laughs> to spells that might fuck each other up. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. I thought wow. your darkness was very good, Darian. Yeah, Lyra yeah, can't play. She can bad. see. I can see. <laughs> uh, I have to make sure. I didn't that say it was bad. bad. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, it's a 20 foot radius, so my thought was <laughs> casting Hunger of Hadar and this area to keep the Gigans from at least running there. Okay. 
Um, I'll say as you kind of like step out of that, because it's all simultaneous, mm -hmm. these are the same six seconds, you kind of step over yeah. and you can see as the head of one guy can whoosh, whoosh, flies away and then you see oh. another one kind of like get pulled taut and then like a sickening snapping sound. I think you can, though you have no direct line on it, you can see that both of those guy are likely dead now. I would say that is within the immersion of the game. Okay, cool. Fantastic. They're taken care of. So, yeah, I think we'll cast that just to keep them at bay. Uh, I can read it to you real quick because the text is not uh, the proper text for Hunger of Hadar. Oh. At all. Whoa. Oh. It, it literally just says, enable template listener in the module settings for small birds. <laughs> like, it's not the hunger part at all. <laughs> Uh, I didn't want to edit the spell without you knowing, no, but I, I basically that. have it copy-pasted ready. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Sorry. Hold up. You know what? No, Hang on good, one second. Good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just. I also updated Foundry, by the way, you guys. So some of the stuff probably is gonna be a little funky. Yeah. Okay, it's okay. You just let me know when you're ready for me to cast a spell. I will not copy. Plagiarizer. Oh my gosh, you have so many spells that I used to have. That I got rid of because they hurt everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Warlock Spells, baby. <laughs> Is that what you're thinking in terms of placement, or where would you like it to be? Uh, I was actually thinking more in the front as, like, again, a way to keep them at bay, because they're probably going to move away from like that. Right yeah. Oh, cool. oh, like as a barricade. Yeah, mm -hmm. do we awesome. actually scooch it like one more? Because I, I know these fuckers are going to try and just jump over it. <laughs> like like over here? Yeah, perfect. Right there. Okay, cool. Because it's difficult terrain too, right? Uh, I believe so. Let me double check. So I know it does a lot. Bar, cold appears centered on a point within range lasting for the duration. This void is filled with cacophony of soft whispers and slurping noises that can be heard up Helena. Um, can be heard up to 30 feet away. No light, magical, or otherwise can illuminate the area, and creatures fully within the area are blinded. The void creates a warp in the fabric of space, and the area is difficult to rain. Any creature, yes, any creature that starts its turn um, takes 2d6 cold damage, and a creature that ends its turn must make a deck saving throw or takes acid damage. As otherworldly tentacles rub against it. Elena. Um, so, as we. Um, as we Said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Just sat here and let, it, let you read it out loud. <laughs> um, okay. So as you as you summon it forth, um, you uh, um, interestingly enough, Daphne, how has your magic worked traditionally? Um, traditionally, um, I think it's been more that pull to her uh, from like her own itty bitty teeny tiny spark, <laughs> um, but I think. I, I know in this case the spell is meant to say tentacles, but I think now having her first of session the of Theratry, I think <laughs> it's actually like tree roots. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Okay. If you guys let me finish okay. without interrupting uh, and making silly jokes. <laughs> <laughs> um, <Yes. laughs> indeed, there is there's almost like this pool that opens up. And out of that blubbering pool of, of oil, you suddenly see the tree roots pushing out as the darkness expands outward. This is the first time that the rest of you, some Yanni sees this happen. Yanni, Darian, Lyra, you can see this. Happen. Well, shit, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Brissa, you're literally the only one who can see this happening. <laughs> Everyone else gets to see this. Um, all right, cool. That is your action. What would you like to do as your bonus action? Flip them off. No, uh... <laughs> Let's see, that took an action, if I remember correctly, to cast a spell. Uh, give me a wonky symbol. I don't know, I'm marking down the spell slot at least. There we go. Um, yeah, that's It's action. flying, like level of I'm the Gigan, right? So. Yeah, I mean, it's still a, it's still a pretty significant thing, and you'd have to kind of look down. Um, you know what, if you want to see it, you can see it. Yeah, I'll just yell out. <laughs> Daphne's darkness is cooler than mine. <laughs> it hurts people. <laughs> uh, could I potentially just get a spear out to? No, I don't think I'm close enough to throw it. Dang. It hurts everyone. I mean, you could try. It would just be with disadvantage. I mean, I don't know. What's the second increment on spears? 
Uh, I'm seeing 20 feet, so... Never mind. Yeah, it's a little too yeah. far. Yeah, it's a little too far. Uh, and are they 50 feet up? Or, they're they're no. essentially okay. 10 feet cool. below you. So this... Well, actually... Yeah, they're they're a little bit below you. You're a little bit higher than this. Uh, down below here is is quite a bit lower. Um, that's that's actually like the top of the wall. So Yanni's at about thirty feet. Uh, these guys are about forty feet high, and you're at fifty feet high where you are. To kind of put that into perspective. Technically, they're still looking down on you, but yeah, their, yeah, their feet I gotcha. are ten feet lower than you. Uh, they're uh, gobble sticks. What did you call them, Jason? Mm, no. Oh, okay. At least. Uh, anyways, <laughs> those are very <laughs> different terms. <laughs> Anything I can do with a bonus action, I have to concentrate on, and I'm already concentrating on that. So, awesome. uh, nope, I'm good. <laughs> okay, cool. With that, as we are going to uh, put it back into round two. I say that's going to be a good moment to take a quick break, and we'll see you guys here in five to ten minutes. See you guys here shortly.
And with that, welcome back for uh, the second half of this insane combat. All right, these guys, uh, <laughs> yeah. You guys look towards Yana he's like, guys, I've got an idea. But um, editor's note uh, for, for later reference, this was Tyler's idea. I want all credit to go to Tyler for future reference and posterity. I got an idea. <laughs> but what if it kills us all? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, then it was idea. your idea. <laughs> Um, he is going to... Oh, shit, it has to be a spot that he can see. Um, can he hold his action? Like, because I can see him. So can I can see action. he's winding up to do something. Um, he wants to just... Like, he wants to get there so he can hold it so that the second that Brissa and Sila do the thing, um, he can unleash. So he, he's trying to, like, misty step over there. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's see. Probably get where? Like right here? Like right on the edge there. And then. Oh, is Mr. Step only 30 feet? I always forget. <laughs> okay. He makes a barrel to just like. <laughs> as he runs into the darkness. Hey, Brissa! Point the damn thing towards the bay! But like the sky! I'm gonna boosh him! I'm gonna boosh him all! As just like, what the fuck does that mean? Um, I'm leaving my helmet on. <laughs> this doesn't sound like a good idea. <laughs> All right. Uh, what does Sila do? I will say this. Um, as Sila hears this, she's suddenly very, very, very concerned about her position on this side of this lens. Yeah. yeah. That is that is fair. Um, I did attack the horn. So hopefully that helped. Yeah, could Sila finish off the the horn and then move out of the way? She certainly can try. Go ahead and have her make an attack. An attack or another strength thing? The strength thing could Im oh, immediately do that. Yes. Yeah, so go ahead and try the athletics check. Yes. Did that, did that work? Did it... Um, oh. I'll 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 give her my inspiration. <laughs> All right, sounds good. 24. Yay. All right, that one's gone. Opa. All righty. Opa. Opa. <laughs> All right, with that then, indeed, the horn comes off and falls down, crashing into that pier below, shattering it completely as it drops into the water with a splash. Everyone obviously knows inside of the fort that you're there now, but at least no massive uh, uh, is going to be heard, which is nice. So let me mark that that thing is gone. Is it is it like when that bell falls in on all those people in Game of Thrones? I can reference <laughs> the show I've never watched before. <laughs> <laughs> what show? There's a show. And then Tyler will fly away from the <laughs> impending prismatic uh, wall of death. All righty. Aw, spoilers. Oh. All right. Um... All right, this soldier is going to frantically begin to dash. Oh God, it's gonna take them forever to get over here. <laughs> He's huffing and puffing. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Actually, you see him running towards the ballista. Oh, that makes more sense. Oh, that does track. It does that track. That makes more sense. <laughs> but he can't see us because we are the knight. It's fine, guys. All All right. ballista. <laughs> with, oh no. With that Argentine. Smoke butter ballista. <laughs> uh, it's your turn. Okay. All right. Argentine's gonna turn around. It's gonna lock eyes on the his new target. Which are are these are these boos right over here, mm -hmm. these ones. And we're gonna fly forward a little bit. Uh. Don't go in the You circle. hear wet <laughs> undulating <laughs> Tentacle-like um, roots below. I can fly above the circle, right? Yes, you can. Okay, I just want to make sure. Oh, wait, am I right at the end of my movement? Oh, I am. Okay, okay, okay. I will say cool. as you're... What are you... Yeah, you're flying above. You're flying above. Yep. Uh, okay, 72. That one's 126 feet away. Let me just check chromatic orb. Here, 
Do I spell sniper? Is chromatic orb 90 feet with spell sniper, or is it 180 feet with spell sniper? Probably 180 feet. Okay. All right. Crack the knuckles. All right. We're feeling ourselves. We're going to... What are we going to do? We're going to twin spell a... What, what level do we want to do this? Oh, I clicked it. What happened? <gasps> oh, no. The spell is broken. Hold up. Try oh, again. No. It's pre -made. Our spell is Try again. Broken. Yep. There we go. We're going to do this at... Let's do, let's do it at fifth level. Twin spell. Chromatic orb. Okay. Shift target. Shift target. Where are you? There you are. Fifth level. We're gonna do some... What damage are we doing? Let's do... Is... Is acid da acid damage on there? No? On uh, chromatic orb? Yeah, I believe so. Let me double check. It is. Spell chromatic orb. Acid, cold, fire, lightning, poison, thunder. I say, according to Baldur's Gate, it is. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so actually what we're going to do is, is we're going to channel some Lutheria and we're going to do some poison damage. So just like two green chromatic orbs. Lutheria sends her regards. Get it. Oh, it's asking me. Shit, sorry. I didn't see that pop up. Poison! Oh, okay. Okay. Nice. Very, very nice. All right. Oh. Here's well, the other one. Because you targeted two people. Yeah. Oh, oh, I see what's happening. I see. I understand. Okay, I count down <laughs> four. Okay. All righty. It smacks them right in the face as they're both kind of coughing and puffing after that. And one of them just says, my sheep. As with that, anything else for you? Let me just check my bonus actions. Uh, nope. That is it for me. Alrighty. With that, then. Um, do, 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 do. This guy is going to run as quickly as his little feet carry him towards the ballista. Alright. This one is no longer surprised. They can do stuff, too. I know it doesn't seem like it. Um... Oh, yeah, go ahead and roll another 3d8, Jason. Good point. Oh, Tyler. I didn't catch that. Thank you, Tyler. It, it would be 4d8. Because he did it at 5th level, right? Yeah. So 3, 4, 5. Seven oh, D8. and then one more. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So 18, 19, 20, 21. So an extra awesome. 21. Awesome. Cool. Uh, you yeah. rolled a 17 and a 17 the second time you rolled 3d8. Oh my god. <gasps> Lutheria. <laughs> with me. No. No. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going to push our Junji. <laughs> oh, god, it's so weird. <laughs> Alright, this guy is going to indeed leap down. Point towards you, um, Argenti, and I'm I need you to make me a dex saving throw, please. Yeah. I'm so sorry. They're so far <laughs> away. Just no. ah! yeah, no, oh, yeah. I, did, I didn't know you called it out. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Oh, that's all good. Alrighty. As you, um, as uh, um, they kind of like pull their arm back, they kind of just pull a lightning strike out of thin air, throw it towards your direction. You beautifully kind of uh, maneuver out of the way. Um, and that is going to be half as much damage. So you have 25 points of lightning damage incoming. Um, I believe you do have absorb elements if you want to. Oh, no, that I gives do, you. I do, but I'll just take it. Okay, sounds good. Uh, all right. It, yeah. 25 points of lightning damage incoming at you. Right. Yeah, it just empowers me. <laughs> all right, and that brings <laughs> us to Brissa. Brissa will uh, move the, the thing towards the Brox. And I'll say to, to make the uh, action economies work, you can hold your action to kind of do that as part of Darian kind of using her free action to doff the helmet again. Yeah. All right. Anything as a bonus action? No, no, um, nope. All right. Awesome. All right. 
this soldier runs over towards this ballista as he starts to like tuh, 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 move it around there's like a, a, a crank where he essentially like slowly cranks the ballista uh that is like on a complete swivel to point towards that <coughs> um but that is it for this turn there's that and then darian uh i will take two steps back and then take off my helmet so that way the darkness isn't there anymore and then do we want to resolve all that happens with that? Sure. Okay. All right, Brissa. You use your reaction. Um, same with uh, uh, Yanni. As the spell actually unleashes, and I'm going to cast this really quick. I'm so scared. I'm excited. Okay. Oops, I shouldn't have dropped that. But okay, I'm going to yeah. drop it because I'm excited to see what happens. Um, Tyler, could you... <laughs> I knew you were going to make me do it. <laughs> Could you roll me a D100? Um, but I will have that be adjusted. I don't um, know what that means. Okay. <laughs> First, roll me a D20 plus 17 as Yanni does quick calculations using his arcana to see how he could throw the light into this massive sphere to boosh all over the bay. Um, so go ahead and first, roll me a d20 plus 17. 31. All right, and then roll me a d100 plus 31. Uh. All right, the good news is, I will say that already. There was a chance uh. that the prismatic spray could have just absolutely been pointed downwards and annihilated the fleet. The entire force just absolutely uh, just destroyed it. Instead, with an 85 on this luck roll, Yanni does qu quick calculations in his head. Using some prestidigitation, his like, math symbols kind of appear. There's like a vector graph, and he's like, All right, all right, all right! No, 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 stop it there, stop it there! Good job, Rissa! Okay, okay, get the, get the darkness out of there! As the darkness kind of goes, All right, everybody! And he kind of claps his hands together. And as he does, suddenly, a prismatic ray of light bushes forward as it oh, catches I hate that. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yanni cancel the spell. <laughs> yeah, actually, I've changed my mind. We're not doing any of this. What do you mean? But a big, but a boosh. Um, as Stop making collapses. boosh happen. I'm trying to make boosh happen. <laughs> Stop being, stop acting so bougie. Um, sorry, this is like bougie. That's the closest analog in my, my intrusive thoughts that happens on that one. As you go, poof, um, bushes his hands together, and the prismatic ray just absolutely shoots forward and then is amplified by the lens. Tyler. What a boosh. Huh? Did I get to roll damage? <laughs> you know what? Yes, you do. Oh. How many math rocks do I get to throw on the screen? A lot of math rocks. Okay, so there is a, an amplifying factor. You could obviously use the lens as intended to do things. So what I would like you to roll is... Okay. <laughs> I'm more excited now. <laughs> roll me 50d6. 50, like 5-0? Zero? 5-0d6. Zero and times the result by 10. Uh, Whoa. Can Foundry do times? Uh-huh. So 50d6 x10. Oh, no, that's that's be, it would be the uh, the 8. The If you hold shift and press 8, that's the, that's the time symbol. Oh, the little asterisk. Mm -hmm. Got it. 10. Okay. Jesus Christ. 1,670. <laughs> The sky becomes this beautiful <laughs> array oh, of terrifying prismatic light. Indigo, <laughs> yellow, violet, blue, red. It's just <laughs> suddenly everything that anyone sees. You all kind of... <laughs> Darian, you're just like, fuck this. <laughs> Put your helmet back on. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> Daphne just dunks her head into the roots for a second. But as you guys see all of this shooting out, the light just remains for a second. And as it then recedes, you can see dozens 
of burning rocks flying, the Gigans, some of them frozen solid, some of them burning, some of them just completely torn away by acid, lightning having completely disfigured them as dozens of them begin to fall down, Ooh, sploosh, sploosh, boosh, but a boosh, into the ocean between the <laughs> the many uh, ships that are out ahead of it. It's like a roller coaster, <laughs> like I'm excited and then every time David says boosh, it immediately sinks. <laughs> <laughs> And as <laughs> as you have now single-handedly annihilated the rock riders, completely yeah. gone. Simultaneously, you know that this display of prismatic light was impossible to miss. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I tracked. I tracked. <laughs> but congratulations. There were some writers that were going to fly your way. Nope. <laughs> nope, they're not. Well fucking done. Goddamn, that was genius thinking. Um, Tyler, go ahead and give yourself uh, a DM inspiration. Uh, and Brissa, because you helped with that, you get a DM inspiration as well. Literally, when we came back, when we were coming back for break, and you were like, what do you guys want Yanni to do? I opened his character sheet, and the first thing it went to was his ninth level spells, and I was like, hmm, okay. what if we prismatic <laughs> wall the magnifying glass? <laughs> like, that I know phenomenal. that was the coolest thing we've done, but we at least put the horn <laughs> over the, <laughs> the horn. <laughs> That's true, we did also get rid of the horn that would have told everyone we were here and then shot a giant spotlight into the sky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it could have been Sidon's forces. Yo, know, you're I yeah. who knows why there's light here. They just know yeah, big light two. showed up. We don't there know if it's no good light. light, bad light. Um Holy fuck. So that stays up, right? That bright light is still there. I will say that no. It was immediately as he kind of like channeled it into that. It has annihilated everything that was in the bay. Yeah, yeah. But it is gone now. It was okay. like one oh. big burst. Like you guys, you guys just did a massive like cone, cone of annihilation is what you guys just did. Yeah. Okay. It just seemed like a big, a, a big bay, ask for us to expect that it is still there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and again. Okay. <laughs> Is it, I, it. <laughs> I never asked the weather. Is it a sunny day? Is it even like a sunny day? If it wasn't, I feel like it is now. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm just like, could we it use was, the lens again or did that break the lens? It is a uh, uh, oh, spotted throughout. Um, as you look at it, this was one of the other reasons that I had you roll a D100. Um, it appears that the way that he channeled it, it did not destroy the, the lens, okay. thankfully. So right. the lens is still operational, though you can definitely see that in places it had kind of like uh, started to superheat. So there's like a little bit of glow on the edges of it. It is still functional, though. Okay. Um, good to know. So I guess the two guys that are in front of us are a little bit more of a threat. So I will jump or I'll go down 10 feet and then I should be able to reach. Uh, I'll try for the guy who hasn't leaped, leapt down yet. Okay. And I will. Oh, so close. And another in that one. Did it come through? Oh yeah, eight damage. All mm -hmm. right, and then I'll try again. I'm consistent. <laughs> um, Roll me a D8. And then that. Oh, another D8. Okay. There we go. Alrighty. You're trying to and go then... for the head, but it, it the the storm giant is definitely able to kind of like move aside. Yeah. Um, but both of those still hit though, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, um, I will just look at everybody and be like, okay. Oh, no, I free action took it off. I'll put it back on next time. So that will be my turn. <laughs> Roger that. All right, that is going to bring us to this guy who's going to run to this ballista. Start turning it around. Lara. Uh, I feel like I've already gone through my good ideas. <laughs> Don't know what to do now. Um. Uh. 
There's no more darkness, which means the ballista can see us. <laughs> such a huge map. Why did we do this? Um, okay, I'm just going to try and help take out these other guy guns, I guess. Uh, and I don't even have to move because I also have spell sniper. So yeah, I'll just throw some Eldritch Blast at. We've hurt both of them, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, because our Gentry Chromatic Orb. Both of them. Yeah. Yeah, the I'll one that is up higher is slightly more injured because of Darian. Oh okay. I'll go for that one. Eldritch Blasties. Pew 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 pew. That's a hit. Another hit. Start hexing people again. <laughs> Another hit. Last one. Nice. 38 points of damage total. Pretty good. Does a dent on it, but it is still standing. These things are pretty chunky. Uh, and then I'll bonus action throw another crown of stars mount. At Sounds him. good. I believe it's also 120 feet. Yeah, it is. Okay. All right, beaut. Another hit as it's just like torn uh, part of it, like skins is flaying up. You see one of the hands kind of like being pulled up and there's like a sickening crunch as then the moat kind of flies in and kind of hits it on the side of the head. It is still standing, but it is definitely looking injured. Um, and then I think... Can't get very far. You know what I'm gonna do, actually? I'm gonna move behind the magnifying glass. <laughs> and that's it. Alright, that's all. Sounds good. Alright, these soldiers are just yelling desperate commands, uh, turning the, the ballistas around, but that's going to take a hot minute to do. Um, do, 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 do. This one has started it though, as this one is actually ready to fire. Is going to look towards where you guys are, and let's see the targets here. Hmm, okay, this guy's going to make a quick smarts check. He's pretty smart, okay. You see the thing start to adjust itself, and then kind of lock in. And then after it locks in, it is going to fire, but it will have to fire past a lot of stuff blocking it so that is going to be a bonus to the ac there so as it fires that might be a miss after all except it's a natural 20. okay the thing locks in as the guy kind of jumps into it cranks a couple levers on there and then the energy kind of collects together as suddenly a glob of acid flies over and it hits the lens you see that it mostly rolls off of the glass itself but the actual uh casing itself starts to very quickly erode away oh man with that crit that's a lot of damage to it not enough to destroy it and render it uh, non-functional um but because it was a crit you know what um brissa alex gonna roll me a d100 really quick Oh. Okay, I will say, 
that uh, um, it will require now not just a free action but an athletics check as the asset has kind of eroded some of the tracks upon which the the base is standing to try to rotate it to the spot that you want it to be so to have like that targeting essentially you will need two actions you need one person Brissa, to kind of move the thing itself and then a second person to actually activate the magic of the lens to fire it at something but it might do a decent amount of damage all right, this guy is very fucking far away, but is also going to absolutely dash for his life. Another one starts dashing. Another one dashes. All right, that brings us to this storm giant. Seeing what you guys just did, his eye just goes wide after getting hit so many different times, uh, what, what just happened. And he is going to instead actually focus on the lens instead. Going to throw a lightning bolt at it. And of course, as a construct, it doesn't exactly have a way to succeed against that. And so lightning strikes down upon the thing, doing another 46 points of lightning damage to it. Daphne, it is your turn. Uh, okay. Um, gotta make sure range on this real quick. It's all such small range. Okay. Um, regrets already about this uh okay nope shoot you guys i'm trying to go fast um you hmm. My spell was more effective to me than it was to the enemies. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it really goes. cool, and you feel really cool when you cast it, but I literally used it once and then immediately got rid of it. <laughs> you know, it, it sucks when everything is like, I just wish, I wish AoEs were the enemies. It targets the enemies. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I like I know there's things out there that I think actually there is a sorcerer thing out there that allows you to say, but not these guys. Mm -hmm. But there is. Yeah. He... He's not one I picked up, so it doesn't matter for this conversation. <laughs> uh and I am just out of reach of everything, so I guess. Okay. Um hmm. I... Oh, I guess we're not doing that, so I can't help there. Um... Yes, we'll also try to start flying so I can potentially hit these guys too. Yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. How many people in this group can fly? <laughs> you know what? Everybody I was just me? thinking about you saying that the last time. <laughs> and it's hilarious that you brought it up again the second time. Yeah, <laughs> I think I'm the only one that can't fly. <laughs> Sorry. You got a bird? I have a yeah, bird. I can conjure. I can conjure Bill, Bob, and whatever else we named. I know. I, it's been so long. I, I don't remember the name. I like think F one was named like Frank or Fred yeah. or Jeff or something. Very generic names, names very. if yeah. I recall. Generic people names, not bird names. Yeah. Generic people names. <laughs> generic people names. <laughs> yeah. This is true. Okay. So there's that. Right. That is out. Um. And I guess we'll start flying a little bit. Up, up and over as much as we can. <laughs> uh, so that would. Because how it is 20 feet, 15 feet in diameter, huh? Okay. Uh, yeah. 20 feet. Yep. 
Okay. Um, or 20 feet in radius, I should say. So it's 20 feet up, so you yeah. have to fly up 20 feet to kind of get above it. What's your movement total? Uh, 40? 40. Okay. So oh, no, fly is 30. I forgot. My fly does not... Is not as good as my walking. Okay. Um, I'll say that you kind of like in the diagonal, you fly above it, and that's how far you can make it kind of like flying over it there as you kind of like hovering above your, your pool of roots. Your root soup. Okay. Good soup. Not effective soup, but good soup. <laughs> good soup. Um, can I still do an attack this turn, or do you want to count that all as like. Because that was my bonus action. was a bonus action. But... Yeah, you can totally attack. Okay. Cool. Okay, I don't know then. It, I'm going based off of D and D V, uh, not D and D Beyond, but my character sheet, which says fly thirty. So. Oh, okay. Uh, I believe now I can at least hit the guy with a. Do I have a hammer? Yeah, cool. So we are gonna do that, and I will m not forget to target things. There we go. Nice. Oh, hey. We're level 19, guys. <laughs> so that is a crit for me. Is that... Do you have something that lets you ignore uh, long throw range? I hate um, to be that guy. Because your I'll throw range is still 2060. And that's not within 20 feet of you. So technically that would be a disadvantage. Okay. Uh... Sorry. No, I don't. No, it's good. It's good. It's good. Uh, man, throwing a hammer. At me. Uh, I will re-roll. Do you just want me to like roll a, a d20? Yeah, just another d20 is fantastic. Okay. All right. Okay. Still, still a hit, hit though. Nice. Still a hit. <sighs> okay. Uh, so that damage is does not count. Uh. Maybe make just another attack roll. <laughs> just so I get yeah, the damage out I there, have. too. Yeah, All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now that I have the Radiant Soul thing going on, there will be the uh, extra damage on the first hit. So awesome. Yes, for that. Okay. All right, awesome. Good damage on that. And that was on the top one, right? Uh, no, the bottom one. Sorry, I had it. The bottom Does it takes that I'm 26 targeted? points of damage. Um, okay. Mind you, your hammer doesn't fly back to you. So as you <laughs> hit it across the jaw, you hear a sickening crunch there. Um, you do have to use a bonus action to teleport to it. You start you use a bonus action to fly above, right? Yeah. Okay. Um... <clears throat> okay. Uh, does that count as a bonus action? Once per day, you may instantly summon the hammer to your hand from any distance. Yeah, it says as a bonus action, right? No, uh, so attacks made with this bit. weapon have a plus three bonus to attack and damage rolls. Mm -hmm. Next line, once per day, you may instantly summon the hammer to your hand from any distance, and it teleports directly into your grasp. Oh, because I don't have an action Next there, line. sure. It'll be, it'll be a free action. Yeah, sorry oh, for, for not including that. No, no, I... I wasn't sure if it was also a bonus action. It makes sense. Nope. It's all good. Let's let's call it a free action. Alrighty. And that'll do it, though. Alright. Go to make that second attack. You have two, right? Or do you, do you want to not swing the second time? Uh, I'd rather not swing the second time since I can't get it back. <laughs> and I don't want to leave it there. <laughs> That's right. Okay, cool. Um... With that then, having your movement, your action, bonus action, um, you guys hear a sonic boom as uh, all of your side is turned towards where Cydonia, Eresia lies, some northwesterly direction, um, some hundreds of feet away. Darien, with your passive perception, you're the only one who can see with your goddamn eagle eyes, but those Fredonian eyes, um, you look off in the distance and you suddenly see as a rock carried uh, uh, carriage or chariot, sorry, um, flies towards the city. But the sonic booms clearly came from there, and you see something rapidly approach. As that something rapidly approaches, darkness begins to gather 
above the fortress. You can see as, as black clouds are starting to form, something is gathering above you while a brilliant flash of blue and silver is starting to careen towards you. What does it mean? Oh! <laughs> oh! It's don't worry, don't worry about that stuff yet. Don't worry about that stuff yet. That's giant! <laughs> you can't don't do worry. that and then say, don't worry. Don't worry about that. It's fine. I am it's totally worried. fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna There's have to make a save, I could but not be yet. But worry. <laughs> Very importantly, it covers everything. Okay, that's that's probably the most important part. Cool. Hmm. Well, cool. maybe it'll be like Warlock AOEs where it hits everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> and with that, that brings us to Yanni. What would you guys like him to do? I'm out of ideas. <laughs> That was my one good one for the year. Can Yanni have... port us out? <laughs> can <we just> leave? <laughs> yeah, can we eighth level teleport away from here? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so, so Yanni, Yanni, and could Sila like m you know do the telescope thing or the magnifying glass thing and fire it? Um, with what is happening above you, uh, it seems that <laughs> now this entire area is blocked as. There's no more light directly cascading down. It is not so dark that you can't see. It doesn't create like darkness per se, but there's no more direct line of the sun kind of shining onto the thing. Um, if you have another source of light, let's say for example, a sunbeam or something, we can play by the rules that, <laughs> that Tyler already figured out. What? Oh, that you cast the spell into it and it magnifies it. Oh. Oh, any yeah. spell? I just said prismatic wall because it's light. That's yeah, exactly. I like, I'll say if there's wall. another light-based spell that you can think of, yes. Uh, How do we feel about fireball? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fireball you, just, right? you just break the magnifying glass. <laughs> Nobody gets to use it. <laughs> what about chain lightning? <laughs> I know, I was just thinking, chain lightning. <laughs> could he technically, could he fireball those two Gigan? I mean, I don't, I don't want to use something high level again for, for. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just thinking if. Chain lightning, they're probably resistant or immune to that. So. Chain lightning oh, is right, not going right, to right. work. Right, <laughs> yeah. right, 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 right. And I think his fireball, because it's 150 feet, should reach the two of them. True. Okay, hear me out. What if Yanni cast light into the back of my? I was just thinking. <laughs> yeah. That. Wait a second. <laughs> yeah, that does. That is a light. <laughs> Um, I'll say because the base spell doesn't do damage, it's going to shine a light. It'll be like, yeah, it'll be essentially like a, what is that called? A lighthouse light, but it's not going to um, do damage. Could but if you want to highlight this. something, it's just like, <laughs> as one of you guys strikes a post or something, you could do that. What about it shocking grasp into it? <laughs> That's also lightning. <laughs> I know. Well, I, I was saying into the lens. In the name. It has light in it. <laughs> but it's lightning. <laughs> what about Listen. illusory dragon? Because it's illusion, so it's like an illusion of light. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, illusory dragon is specifically shadow. <laughs> yeah, oh. <yeah. laughs> That's actually <laughs> fucking hilarious. Um, what Opposite. else you guys got? What if we bit, cast yeah, blur in it and then we like. <laughs> Blur all of us. <laughs> Everyone just gets real dizzy. Why would I make my con saving throw to not just absolutely? I do. don't. I hate to say it, but I don't think Yanni has any other light spells, guys. No. I'm good with fireball. Yeah, I do like fireball. Okay. Fireball. Just at third level, or do you guys want to upcast a little bit? Or you know what he's going to do? Uh, he's going to. Yeah, you tell us, David. I'm just trying to think of everything he has, and I want to obviously also um, free Brissa as much as possible. Um, so he's going to activate the... the Oh, the gauntlet. The gauntlet. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
you did point those out to us already once today. <laughs> All good. I mean, hey, it's just trying to be as useful with him as possible. Um, and that is just a bonus action, so he can absolutely still cast a fireball. And then tells you, Brissa, just like, I'll figure out if I can do anything else with this. You go in there. You do the thing that you do so well. Um, <coughs> um, <coughs> Yanni? <Yeah. laughs> Six seconds, his voice changes. It's really weird. <laughs> all the time. Um, all right, little fireball here. Yeah. Fireball. Alright, do we have a fail? We have a fail in the second. Oh, they both wrote the same thing. They both fail. Alright, taking some fire damage. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> there's this. Oh man. It's not a whole lot of damage. Even I've cast it. Damon would probably say, yeah, that's about right. How many ones? Um, how many did I roll? I got a twenty-eight total on an upcast, and that just makes me really sad. Oh, that's... oh on an upcast? Yeah, it was three ones, three twos. Boo. Oh. Okay. Um, mm. and then Yanni just tells you, Briss says, like, "I'll futz with this. You take care of these guys." Um, and the hands are just like flying towards the sides and starting to like shift the thing around. All right. What does Sila do? Um, dip, dip, dip. I guess Sila will. Intent! There's a party member that cannot fly that just pointed that out. Oh no, it's fine. We got it handled. We got it. Argenti and I have a plan. Sila right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, will, I guess, fly towards the bloop, bloop, bloop Titan guys. So fly and up and around. What's, what's Silas' movement again? She is boop, boop. 80 feet. Okay. 80. Okay, let me see some things. So we'd have to go 20 up. I'll say to actually get to them, she'll have to dash. Oh, she would have to dash? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're pretty far. Even... Oh, okay. Well, then she will go with her mother. It's dead. Okay. And they start dashing towards where her mother is going to go. Which is down south. Oh, all to right. Murder. As you guys head down to Louisiana. Uh, Louisiana? I mean, I guess. <laughs> sure. I mean, in this Greek setting, I, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> what is Louisiana if not little Greece? I don't... <laughs> Achieve a dash. Sorry to Louisiana. All right, cool. Um, nothing is a bonus section for her, right? Nope. Nope. Cool. All right, this guy um, is going to adjust, use his action, turns the ballista around. This guy had the other one adjusted as the dragon is coming towards them they're going to fire upon her um roll me a d4 as that is going to be a hit alex please be fire please be fire oh that's nice <laughs> that is cold um as that fires at her that is going to be 34 points of cold damage as she gets clipped on the side there, and that brings us to Argenti. Okay. So, the sky is, oh. Oh no, I'm not in the hunger of Adar. No. It just prompted a little thing on my screen. Um, okay, the sky is getting really wild. Things are booming. Uh, okay, Argenti turns around, and he sees Darian slinging her chakram around. And he flies directly to her. And then I want to use my action to, like, stretch and turn into Glacius. All right. And just plop down on the ground in front of her with, like, a 
big slam. Give me just a big a boosh, kiss if you will. Of a second. <laughs> or a <gente. laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. My dentist says boosh and then he dies. <laughs> Big boosh. I get shot through the neck. <laughs> when it came from me, I was like, I don't want to hear anyone else in the group. That's how we start a PvP. Right here, yeah. yeah. There and here we go. Oh, oh, sorry, girl. Sorry, got a little too close. You're uh, so cute. Look at that little face. You're so, so cute. So happy. So happy. And uh, should should I back up so she's visible? Okay. So <laughs> and then just drop out of the air, land on the ground. Darren, make right me a deck saving throw. Oh, okay. Let's see. Dex. Oh, that's hilarious. Great job. What the fuck? What? What is that? What? <laughs> you just flattened so I can crawl I on to you be easier. I cool so bad. You know what? Fuck it. I don't care. I'm using my inspiration on that. <laughs> Wait, what? No, I was just kidding. I was just kidding. Was he just was just joke. kidding. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. I'll take it back. <laughs> okay. The emotional roller coaster. Yeah. But it's a canon event. You land and you stumble a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. And then I say, uh... Try to ooh. recover. Aid me, and uh, oh, I'll God. like lower my no. wing down. No. <laughs> let you climb on, cause girl, we taken to the skies. Listen, he's over six feet and he's got a deep voice. No, <laughs> no. probably in finance. Does he work in true. finance? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I'm looking for a man. Blue eyes. <laughs> Blue eyes. Blue eyes. That's fun. Blue eyes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then. That's, I think that's all I can do, because I don't, yeah, I think that's all I can do. Okie dokie. Alright. Alright, this guy is also going to fire. Roll me a d4, Alex. Chance. That is going to be a miss. All right, as that sails on by. All right, this guy sees a dragon up here, does not like. And no. Sorry. This fucking guy. This fucking guy. <laughs> um, is going to throw some. Oh, actually, let's just see if they get that back. They do not get that back. Um going to try to push through this. When they first enter, it's 2d6 cold damage, right? Yeah, they have to end their turn for the acid damage. Okay. Oh, actually, I think the... I'd say read it again, because I don't know if it's if they enter or if they start their turn. Oh, it is start your turn, huh? Uh, yeah, it's start. Yeah. But it is still difficult terrain, and if awesome. they go all the way in it, they're blind. Okay, and if they end something. their turn... It does a lot. Like, it's really cool if it just didn't hurt your friends. <laughs> well, when most of your friends can fly, it's kind of fine. That's true, that's true, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Darian's like, I mean, uh, Daphne's like, that's a you problem. <laughs> that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> but it's just like all the warlock AoEs. Radiant, or uh, sickening radiance, circle of death. Hunger of Hadar. Oh, yeah. uh, definitely going to roll me 2d6 as the creature ends its turn there. Nice. Yay! <laughs> I'm doing my part. <laughs> that that tracks the 6 and a 1, 7 <laughs> points of damage. <laughs> but it's weird tree tentacles, so surely there's like some trauma, some mental damage, right? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. All right, Brissa, it's your turn. I will fly south to aid my dragon. Okay. So you'll have to fly around the lens, just FYI. Okay. <laughs> 25. 
and then I could go 120, so 100 feet. So that would be dashing. Eww. All right. And that is where I can't do anything else. All right, sounds good. As you approach, this one is going to readjust, and that'll be the end of the turn for there. Darian, what would you like to do? I mean, I just got offered a chance to ride on a dragon, <laughs> so I will climb on up that way, <laughs> and I will don my helmet. Oh no! Can I gently look through that? No, right? Yeah. You have... He said he has blind. At least I think so. He has, he has oh, blind sight, but okay. it's only sure. like fifteen feet, right? It's sixty. Oh 60 really? Feet. Oh, yeah. right. dragons are more. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. So we become the knight. <laughs> we are the knight. We're Balerion the Black right now. Yeah. Um, do you want to count that as my action, David, to climb up onto him? No, it's just half your movement. Okay. I'll have, I'll have to double check, actually. Because there is something... Hang on, hang on. Let me look it up in the... I do have a room. climb speed. I don't know if that would <laughs> come into um, effect. Uh, an animal. It's just half your, it's half your movement speed to mount an animal. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay. <laughs> yeah, half your movement to get on. So you have your, your helmet on, you're, you have mounted our What would you like to do? The second dragon. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now that I'm in the darkness... Uh, I'll still aim for the same guy that I was aiming for before. Okay, sounds good. Be consistent. Good. Hold all to some, since you do have advantage, he cannot see you. I have foresight from... Oh, perfect. Time. Yeah, so I, I don't think I should... Well, it doesn't oh, matter. Roll to 15. Man. Yeah, that's gonna be That's nice. alright. I'm just so excited from being on the drive. That's hey! what I like to see! Yay! Nat 20. I'm so mad the first one missed. <laughs> I'd do it again. Hey, all right. That is the thing. That is the thing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I missed. I was upset I missed. And then when it comes back, I throw it again. I readjust for being on the dragon's back, and then it all works out. As you as you <laughs> channel your previous memories in Mitros. Um, Elena. Yeah. I, yeah. How does Darian decapitate instantly <gasps> oh! the Skygen? Okay. With your vortex uh, chakram. Okay. So when it comes back and I throw it the second time... I've now I feel like we've fought enough Gigans. I kind of like, oh yeah, there's the weakness in their armor, and it just goes and it it doesn't completely decapitate it, but it goes through it. It's like in all those movies where he's just like, oh, and then collapses to the ground where yeah. he doesn't Wonderful. he doesn't realize he's dead until it happens. <laughs> and if you want to count that as an effective ninety three points of damage, because that's how much he had left, that was effectively ninety three points of damage. Yeah. Um. And then I yell at Brissa and I go, Look, I'm just like you! Because <laughs> I'm on a track. <laughs> no bragging. <laughs> <laughs> Bilbo Braggins. Alrighty. Um, anything as a bonus action? Okay. Yeah, that's it. Alright, this guy adjusted it last time and is going to fire. Oh, Jesus Christ. So far north. Um, let's see here. There's not a whole lot that they can see. Darkness. Dragon, Daphne, Dragon, Daphne, Dragon. Uh, uh, I'm going to roll a d6 for this one. All right, that's going to be at Brissa. Um, and Shoot so far. I was going to say, it's like... I mean, it's a ballista. So um, far. I, I know, I know, I know. All righty, that is going to be a shit. It de-targeted you. What's your AC oh. right now, Brissa? Um, 19. Okay, that is going to be a hit with disadvantage. Um, and that is going to be, what did I say last time the damage was? Ice. What, the ice one? Uh, no, that's a different one. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, you did ice on Brissa. That's going to be acid on the magnifying glass. That's what it was. Um, so that's going to be 41 reduced down to 20 points of acid damage against you, Brissa. Do it. Okay, um, boop, scratches the 
the paint. Excuse me, paint just a little bit. Uh, Lyra. Shit, I still don't know what to do. Uh, let me let me read something really quick for your stuff. For my stuff? Yeah, I want to see something. Not me forgetting what I can do. <laughs> Everyone else is just so far away. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, your... Uh, your crown of stars creates star-like motes of light. You essentially have little wish plushies rotating around you, right? Yeah, I would let you... Oh, would let you you're, use right. That. <laughs> you're right. You're right. <laughs> But we didn't move the the thing, right? Yanni did. Oh. Like he well, has what's it. What's it pointing at now? Um probably a set of ballistas. We'll see we'll say this one right here. Sorry. Which one? What? Oh, I mean it doesn't matter if it's pointing at a ballista, I'm gonna do. <laughs> In that case, okay, so what I would like you to do is just move maybe like towards the middle of that and then. Yeah, make that's what I was gonna do. Make me an Arcana check. Same thing again. Arcana check, uh, um, and then add that to a D100 roll. Oh, no. Uh, that's a 25. For the for the stream, that was a natural one from the Arcana check. But it's oh. just adding to the roll. <laughs> that would be really. Lyra, did I you have, have like a fate? I'd die? like to give you my D of inspiration. No, I have one. David gave me one back for the for the prismatic walls, which was dope. I'll I'll use it. Nineteen. Okay. Uh, I All right, and then roll me the D one hundred, please. Plus the 19, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. 57. All right, with a 57, that absolutely is going to be it. Um, go ahead and roll me 10 d Oh, they normally do... Oh, okay. I was going to say they normally do 4 d Four or you know what? Because we did that with the other spell, um, if you had used the the lens in the normal way, it would have been ten d ten. So instead, roll me forty ten times ten. Okay. I'm gonna mark off one of the. Oh, I'm not even gonna roll it. I'll just mark off. You do send one of the motes in. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna click it, but I was like, that's gonna be more dice. So I'm just going to mark it off my tally of how many I have left. <laughs> so 4d10 times 10. Mm -hmm. Times 10. 180. Alrighty. You watch as <laughs> the lens is adjusted. I think the memory is the memory of the prismatic wall going through the magnifying glass. <laughs> <laughs> And you just watch as it just cuts the swath across both of those ballistas um, to the south there. And both of them just immediately burst to fire. They're just both gone. I, now everything is even further away. <laughs> get the ones all the way in the corner. I mean, you would think they would get a little scared and run at some point. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like, like, you would think they'd get the, the hint. <laughs> Okay, here's my next question. Using a moat is technically a bonus action. Yeah, Would that's you totally still fine. say that? Or? Yeah, okay. you can still use your action. Then I'm going to Eldritch Blast the guy again. <laughs> Get it. And that is with advantage because, I mean, no, he's already blind, so you should be able to just fire. Yeah. That was another one. I know. Man. All right, that's a hit. Max damage. Nice. Close to. That's another hit. Still standing. Still standing. That's all I got. That's all four. Oh, that was eight, four. 15, 13, and oh, 10. Okay, the eight. I missed that one. All right. 
good amount of damage. The Gigan is still standing, however. That's okay. Um... Do we... Do we want to just have me keep doing magnifying glass stuff? Because I have four more. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I would say target the ballistas. Okay, I'll stay here then. <laughs> Alright, dope. Um... All right, this one right here adjusted it last time, sees what you did there, and is going to fire on the magnifying glass, terrified. Um, That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> all right, going to roll this. Man. Okay. With disadvantage. Oop. Okay, <coughs> ate that one. That is still going to be a hit. All right, let's doing the same one on that one, and that is going to be 21 points of damage against the lens. The lens is still standing, but it seems like it is now just on its hinges. Like, it is looking rough. Um, okay, this guy absolutely <laughs> begins to run. <laughs> yeah, okay. Don't run. Yeah. Don't. Towards the <laughs> southern <laughs> ballista. <laughs> No, that's fine. It's going to take him like three turns to get there. Listen, he's going to try, okay? Okay, these guys are still fucking running. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, run towards the ballista. For six seconds, he's just absolutely sweating. All right, that is going to be um, another shot on the lens there. That's going to be a miss. All right, this guy, fuck. <laughs> Give him credit, because I would be <laughs> leaping in the water at yeah, this point. Yeah. I'd be like, no. All right, Daphne, it's all you. Yeah. Uh, okay, there's one guy left. I'll try to take care of him. Take care of like him. I will say, so here's the, the weird thing, because you can't see him, he can't see you. That's technically no. just going to be a straight roll. So just hold <laughs> control as you make that attack. Sounds good. Or can you see in darkness now, too? Nope. Do you have a hidden blind sight? True sight? Nope. No. Boosh sight. No, that sounds even worse. That actually made it even worse. That made it worse. It did. That did. You yeah. did. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm holding down control. Okay, cool. All right, that is still going to be a hefty hit. And that radiant damage. Nice. All right, still standing, but took a pretty good hit. And another one. Okay, DJ. <laughs> another <Kyle>. one. Another one. <laughs> Nice. Oof. Beautiful. Absolutely okay. beautiful. Um, fuck. I can't even ask how he's looking. Um. Yeah. You can tell that he's still in there. Still okay. standing. Uh, would, would you let me to add in the a smite? Oh, not after the... F go ahead. You know what? Go for it. I... And I believe that is not rating damage, though, in case that better. It does not, because... Okay. And furthermore, with that, you feel the creature die inside of the Hunger of Hadar. And part of you feels as the roots kind of reach up and just crunch the ribcage and the bones and just suck the body down as it disappears into it. Do they boosh it? Stop it! <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, well, I was gonna... Say, uh, could could you remind me in order to drop a spell? Just you just stop concentrating. Okay, I will stop concentrating. Up then, don't awesome. think we're gonna need it. And that will do it. Fab. All right, give yourself a wet willy to stop concentrating on the spell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that what Lyra does? <laughs> like okay. I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> 
As you guys are having this conversation, kind of like maybe shouting back and forth, suddenly there's a green light right. that cuts across the, the sky and the dark cloud um. that hangs over everything. And you see rain start to fall down. Except as it starts to fall down, it starts to burn and oh, itch. Yeah. Oh. Pollution in my thylea? This acid rain, <laughs> it's out of control. <laughs> Oh, is it the hot one? <laughs> it's always the hot ones. I mean, I think they're all pretty much the hot ones, right? Well, David <laughs> David posted a picture in the announcement, and I always oh. assume that mm. that's who he's bringing into the fight. Oh, <laughs> I sure hope so. Honestly. Do you think? Oh do you God. think we could fix her? <laughs> do you think we could? <laughs> you see, some damage um, being done to everyone and everything. All right, uh, I will let you all mark that down yourselves, but all of you, it's not a lot, but all of you take two points of acid damage. Oh, okay. we can mark it down. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And well, if you're concentrating on something, don't forget that is going to require a concentration check. Well, I just mm -hmm. dropped it. So. I know, it's perfect timing for that. <laughs> um, Darian, you watch as the silvery blue light very quickly approaches you guys. Um, <clears throat> it is probably now a couple hundred feet out. And you can just see something is like displacing the air as if just absolutely thunders towards you. Um, roll me... Do we see what roll me a D100. Alex, what was your question? Do we see what direction this is coming from? From the south, yeah. so yeah. northwest. Do we David, see you it ruined yet, it. Or is it still just you it? ruined it. I could have had that for tomorrow. <laughs> um, it could have been tomorrow. <laughs> it is actually getting a little bit closer. It's coming. It's coming from the northwesterly direction. So like, it'll probably enter somewhere around the gatehouse. Oh, uh, okay. But we do mm -hmm. all see it at this point, or is it still just Darian? No, I mean Darian is probably has the clearest view on that. Daphne can't see it from where she's at. Lyra, there's a good argument to be made that you're currently focused on other shit. Uh, so oh, that's for... my perception is also not good. So, yeah. <laughs> Brissa and and uh, yeah, for both of you guys, technically for Brissa and Sila, you'd be technically kind of focused away. Up to you though. I know. I know that D and D fifth edition is three sixty degrees. So you just decide if you see it or not. No, if we don't um, see it, we don't see it. That's fine. Yeah, you guys decide. Um, and as it gets closer, you suddenly... I don't think I'd be looking up anyways if acid rain just started falling down. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um, you suddenly see as the flash suddenly seems to kind of like do something and then lightning arcs from the cloud that is hanging above you and then shoots down towards, <clears throat> and I have to check a couple things here. Okay. I need the following three people to make me some deck saving throws. Daphne, Argenti, Darian. Deck save. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do it again. <laughs> be it, be it. Who gave you that foresight, BB? That's you. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll I'll use yeah yeah. <clears throat> hey, yeah 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 yeah. Daphne. How's, how's your deck, Stephanie? Uh, better than my strength. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. I didn't see Darian's deck save come through. What did you get? Oh, got she got a 21. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, she critted. Yeah. She critted on him. That's what happens when I not only see everything, <laughs> no. but see into the future. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then what did you get, Daphne? Uh, 19. Okay. Total. Argenti, Daphne, you both fail. Darian, you do succeed, yeah. still taking half. That would have been 46, four, six points of lightning damage. So Daphne, you only, oh, sorry. Uh, um, Darian, you take half of that. Can I absorb elements that? Of course. Why is people looking scared? Should I not do that? No, no, no. I'm just, I'm grimacing at the amount of damage oh. that it is. 
Yeah, so I will absorb elements. Though. Awesome. Yeah. I, I, it. Just like everything else, I keep having moments of, we're level 19, and then we're level 19. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Argenti, do you have anything? I mean, you could also do absorb elements. It's 46 points of... Oh, I can? Uh, I oh, think you, cool. have, you okay. have absorb, right? Or am I going crazy? No, I do. I just didn't know if I could do it as a dragon. Of course so you can. Yeah, yeah you, have, you have all of your casting oh. capabilities, so... Faux show, we going to do that. Yes, we are. You're a little bit more spry as a dragon. Let's put it that way. Yeah, cool. That's all night. We're level 19. We're level 19. <laughs> I'd like to think because of that, I left my bird because <laughs> she's not here. So I was like, you stay in the trees, BB. <laughs> you're not level 19. <laughs> no, you're not. I just rebuilt you. I'm not going to risk you again. <laughs> Amazing. All right, cool. And then, Daphne, do you have anything fancy you can do? Right. Only if I actually succeed on a saving throw, which I have Damn yet it. to do. Okay, <laughs> so. sorry. All right, that is going to be 46 points of lightning on Daphne as there's just lightning that <laughs> arcs out and hits all three of them. Um, all right, Yanni. You guys want him to point towards the... Um, yeah, the yeah, these okay. guys. Yeah, these guys. <laughs> Uses a bonus action to do that. Anything is an action. Hold like a care trip to in case anyone comes along. He could do that. He could cast a concentration spell so that one of you guys is empowered a little bit. Um, shit, he could even cast global vulnerability around the place, which would be kind of funny. Um, oh, that actually it would keep the. Oh, but you can't cast out of it. Right? Yeah. Mm. Um, oh, I'm reading it. I would say wait for now, because we don't really have any like immediate threats until whatever's coming is coming. Well, the only thing I'm thinking is if Yanni casts Globe of Invulnerability over the magnifying glass, keep the, oh. we keep the magnifying glass. Because it's about to break. We'll probably get maybe one more use of it if we leave it out in the open. That would be smart. I'm just reading to see if it, if you can cast out of it, because I can't remember. But it's it's also any it will stop spells if they're throwing projectiles at us. It won't stop a giant like rock, whatever they're throwing at us. It's my only other caveat. Like the javel, the thing coming from the ballista. The ballista oh, seems to be druid. magical damage. Like that is one hundred percent magical, not mm. a not. A, oh, okay. Not a bolt. And it says it stops. But any it's not spell. a spell, right? Oh, it is yeah. not technically a spell, no. Yeah, and that's what global bomb video really stops the spells. Could we put it around? I mean, I guess I'm wondering: Would Yanni want to put it around himself? Because we know the lens is being targeted. So we won't necessarily be able to stop them from targeting the lens, but we know he's going to be taking damage right, from being behind it. But it still wouldn't stop the damage because it's not coming from the Oh, it, it okay, I see. Yeah. 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 It's not like the other globe of vulnerability. <laughs> he could also cast a spell and hold something else. Like, Darian, you're pretty sure that that flash of light is going to arrive next turn. I yell out. It's in the sky! <laughs> it's going to be see. here in like six seconds! <laughs> what would we want him to hold? See what he has that's not impeded by distance. I mean, if, it, if he's going to have something come 
up to him, he could do maze, and then I was just thinking kick. that, but it is six. It's sixty feet. Yeah, I mean, so I would just say just wait until the next turn, right? Hold hold a, hold a cantrip, and then next turn he can maze something if it does appear. Yeah, like a I don't know a chill touch. That's his farthest cantrip. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. He's going to hold a chill touch. <laughs> As with that, that is going to bring us to Sila. Um, Sila will have to dash, but she. So did I hear uh, that that someone is coming as well from mm -hmm. Darian? Yeah. Uh, <sighs> Uh, Sila will go down and cut off the retreat at least. Briss can go back up. But Sila will dash down. Okay. 80 feet. And then she will go down right there so that they cannot leave. Awesome. Um, all right, cool. That is going to bring us to soldier, unnamed soldier A. Uh, that one is going to target. This one is going to rush towards Sila and begin slashing. All right, we've got some attacks incoming. Let me see here. Let me see this thing too. Okay, 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 okay. Actually, you know what he's going to do? He's going to cast Blur on himself. Honestly, I get it. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. And now, <clears throat> Big Daddy-O Gladio, what would you like to do? All right. <clears throat> I'm going to look over my shoulder to Darian and say, Hold on. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to... So I, so I want to dash... Like down here to like just get like close to those people, dash there. But I also know I'm like I'm going across and I'm going like at an angle. So, so, so you're trying to get to the feet. to the um, ballistas, right? Yeah, like where those people are. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to block the view to the ones that are diagonal, like yeah. the furthest ones away. So. So yeah, like, and like we're kind of going like down at an angle. Like too. that? No, the towards where Sila is. The uh, these ones over here. Sorry. Oh, oh over here. Is, yeah. Is the is the lens paint. pointed oh, towards the one that's further? Yeah, it's towards the southwest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, so, guys, I don't never eat soggy waffles. I'm like, which way? <laughs> southeast. I do the I same thing. Where you want to go? <laughs> yeah, southeast. Okay. I don't want to tell you guys how I remember. Steven, it it's that's what GPS is for. All right. And you guys didn't want to take believe. Daphne with you. Um, she could fly. She's a grown woman. <laughs> she looks a little sorry. salty. Wants to fly. <laughs> I can see in the dark. All right. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, anything as a bonus action for you, Argenti? Yes, I might want to quicken spell. La, 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 la. Okay. Just trying to find my sorcery points. I know that it's going to cost two, because I'm just going to do it at... I don't know what's more uh, terrifying. A dragon coming at you, or just a dark sphere that you know a dragon is inside of? Oh, I know. It's just <laughs> like, oh, that's terrifying. Oh, and this one's five feet. Okay, actually, no, I'm not going to do anything for now, actually. We're just going to, that's all we're going to do Okay. this turn. Dope. All right, that brings us to this soldier. Same thing, they're going to change their strap to defense mode. Cast blur on themselves. And that is going to bring us to Bursa. No, well, it changed my mind because now we're all just going south, so we're not going to be up north where this thing is coming in. So, but so I was like, okay, I guess we're just going south, and now we're going south. See, it's Yanni's Yanni's problem. Um, so she had moved sixty feet. Okay. 
And I guess for now, she will just throw a javelin of lightning okay. at these guys. Nice, that's going to be a hit. And you threw that at the one that is not blurred? Yes. Awesome. Because right now you have yourself targeted, just as an FYI. Yeah. Yes, the not blurred one. Alrighty. That is going to be a hit. Are you using the command word? Yes, the one where it like, does the DC save and the oh, okay. lightning damage. Okay. So they should have to save. Incoming. That is going to be a nat one. Go ahead and roll me 46 points of lightning damage. Alrighty. Fair chunk of damage. They are still standing, but good damage. And that will be it for now. Awesome. Okay, there. Their action is going to be the same thing for now, just trying to survive. There's a blur cast and Darian. Okay, I think if I'm doing this right, I have advantage because of foresight. But then they're blurring. So does that give them? I was actually just about to look at foresight because of some other stuff. So hang on one second. Okay. Because some spells sometimes negate other spells. So can't be surprised if I don't roll in addition. Nope. Yeah, so it would just be a straight roll. So as long as you target them, it is going to be a straight roll. OK, so then here's my other question. Technically, yes, my range of my sorry. chakram. No, my range of my chakrams is 6120, so they're mm -hmm. wouldn't they be at disadvantage? Uh it disadvantage doesn't stack, doesn't stack. So it'll okay, just be a straight perfect, roll. Straight roll. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Uh I'm aiming for this guy and I'm planning on instead of doing two actions, my chakram technique. Okay. So any creature good. of my choice within ten feet if I hit. Get it. Uh, no, that's oh. it. I'm, I'm using my inspiration on this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. Oh, it's not oh. any better. <laughs> you rolled a two wow. instead of a one. We love to see it. That was just cool. Flies around. Um, it's, it's like the blurred effect. You're just like, shit. Um, there's just like 17 of them now because of the blur and the, the mixing of the four sets. You're like, fuck. God damn it. <laughs> If Argenti just one, gives you though, side eye, he's like, doesn't it, like <laughs> doesn't it like not come back if it's a one? No. I have so you the at least expert, so it ignores that. Uh, so. Got it, got it, got it. So it comes back, but I yell at it. I'm like, you failed me. <laughs> it can't understand. It no, it'll be bad. No, it does understand. It'll yeah. be bad. <laughs> Suddenly the edge just kind of goes, hmm. Uh, yeah. Alrighty, like, like a sad orca at sea world. Yeah. Um, That's why you didn't work. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah. Just oh, no, imagine it, it like melt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. I think I would yell to Brissa and Argenti. I would say, be prepared to head back because we know that. I know you came forward, Brissa. But <laughs> jump <laughs> on Argenti. Get on Argenti. He's faster. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, that's it. Dope. Okay, um, the soldier is going to adjust the ballista. Can't fire yet. Lyra, it's your turn. Okay. Obviously, I'm going to use my bonus action to do the thing. As part of that, again, make me an Arcana check. Add that to a D100 roll. If you get a total of 90 or better, you're going to essentially cut the laser across all three ballistas and destroy all of them in one go. If you roll... 89 or lower, then of course you're going to only be able to get to get one. But you get that 90 or more, all three blisters gone. I have faith, Tyler. Go, go, go. Can I? Can I give my DM inspiration? Sure. For, for sure. 
For the Arcana you, check, you not the D100 roll. Just to clarify. Yeah. Well, well, here's okay. the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Tell me more. Here's the thing. Tell me more. Before you so graciously give me your DM inspiration, I do still have my fate dice that I was going to use for you at some point because it would be a crit for you because I rolled a 19. It's true. But I could just use it for this check right now and get a 26. It's pretty good. It's pretty you good. should do Play. Yeah. Okay, then that's so what I'll good. do. But then, but then you get like a thirteen on D one hundred. I know. I know. I know. I know. Can, can we wait least... to see what the D one hundred is first? No. No. Damn I kind of told you David wouldn't let that happen. Oh. Well, but at least right. Daphne will get to keep their keep keep her her inspiration. So. So yes, ignore what it's gonna roll. That's not true. It's a nineteen. <laughs> Roger that. So my Arcana check is a twenty six because I have a plus seven. What should be, what is it, what is it that you need, a 54? No, 64. I don't know, I can't do math, David. Just roll a 64 or better, no big deal, you got this. Come on. I just play a math-centric tabletop RPG. <laughs> come on, okay, come on, this come on, come plus on, 26. On. I'm gonna vomit. Six, 64. Uh, no, it's 64. So you got a 64? Wait, is that what you needed? Bit with a no, you need it. Kills, it on kills the... one. It kills one. Oh. Okay. Uh, which one of the three would you like to destroy? The left, middle, or right? Um, which one? Uh, the I left one operates two, um, so maybe that one. Yeah, I'll take whichever one will get the most hits at us. All right, as those guys are annihilated. Um, go ahead and roll damage for funsies, but yeah, they're not going to be able to make that. What is it again? Forty ten times ten. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you scared. roll extremely just... low, they might survive. Nope. 220. <laughs> <laughs> ah, amazing. All right, cool. Um, anything is an action. Okay, here's my second question. Yeah. And feel free to let this be my action. Sure. Can I? Because we're doing, we're doing good, which makes me feel good. You're doing pretty well. You're doing pretty well. S somehow we've succeeded <laughs> this far. But... It did just start raining acid. Mm -hmm. There was a sonic boom. Mm -hmm. And Darian said, something is coming from this direction. Yes. <laughs> Can I reach out to Desdemona and just be like, hey, I know it's kind of soon. But I did just give you that spark. Is there anything you could do to help us right now? Because I feel like we're gonna need it. Um, would you want to do your your commune with the fates for this? Well, it takes a minute. The spell is a minute because it, it's technically commune with um, contact other plane or whatever. Roll me, roll me a religion check. Th this will be your action. Yes. Oh no. I got a oh, 10. No. Okay. Do any you, any you... rerolls before I announce what happens? It's up to you, Daphne. Really, it's up to you. <laughs> I Cuz like I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> I feel like we're going to need all the help we can get and I am notoriously wasteful with my inspirations when I roll them. So if maybe somebody else rolls them, it'll be better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, okay. please. Okay. <laughs> Eighteen. That's better. Okay. That's much better. Eighteen. You don't get an answer back, but your inner understanding of the fates is that in order to get something from the fates, something does have to be sacrificed. You did give them the spark of Talieus, in and of itself, is sacrifice as well. With an 18. Literally almost the highest I could roll. <laughs> <laughs> um, you just hear her voice whisper on your right ear, raising your feathers and 
skin. Bring me her too, and I will reward you. Oh, God. Well, that's my turn. <laughs> Okay, um, that is going to bring us to these soldiers. Soldier. All right, that one is going to aim. I can't believe they still want to fight. If I, I know, just saw my right? friends vaporized, I would be <laughs> so out of there. <laughs> <clears throat> it's okay. It's okay. If it stays up one more turn, another friend. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even make it. Uh, de -de -de -de. Daphne. So, uh, did I also hear, Darian, that something is yes. coming this way? Yep. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Um, <laughs> love that. <laughs> it's a good time here. It's a good time here. All right. It's a good time here to fight. It's a good time. I don't know. That's all I got. Uh, and it is still raining. Correct? Correct. Um. I don't want to leave Lyra and Yanni fighting whatever might be coming this way. So I would like to fly closer to them. I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate the friendship that you've shown today. The solidarity and the unity that you've brought to this team. <laughs> While everyone else left. Uh, anytime, anytime. I gotta, I gotta make it up to Lyra. Where <laughs> to God, Lyra? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just, you know, don't forget who didn't leave you behind, yeah? <laughs> uh... Oh, I should have collected the blood of the Gigan while I was there so I could summon uh, you, something. You, but... you did. You did. You have, you have some on, oh. your, on your hand. Easy enough. Okay. Okay, I was gonna say that's cool, thanks. Um... <laughs> <laughs> What's a little blood? It's fine. There's a lot yeah. of blood on no. this battlefield. <laughs> a lot <laughs> of blood. I mean, technically there were Gigans over here too where we're standing, so... True. But it feels, it feels a little bit more special when I did the you know? Oh, uh, okay. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. So I guess... I... I'm out of pickle. I don't know what to do. I can cast two different things then. I could summon lesser demons. I could also do the Shadow of... Moil, because where I'm at, it should not affect you guys. Um, but then I'm just kind of sitting waiting for whatever it is to show up. Uh, aren't, the, aren't the demons going to be hostile to you, though, if you summon them right now? I don't believe so. So you, you have to stay in the circle. They do... Um, you can command them, but I think they can break. They can try and save against it. Oh. It's been a while since I've read the spell. Let's just hold off on that. For then that and one is, demons are reading. hostile to all creatures, including you. Roll initiative for the yeah, summon demons as a group, okay. which has its own turns. Yeah. And we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. Uh, it do that doesn't set a good tone for yeah, staying around. It they just can't attack uh, you if you stay in the circle of blood, I think is what it is. Okay, cool. So that's a good thing to do at another point. At another opportunity. Uh, okay, I guess we'll do... Oh, I think I'm thinking of... Either way, uh, just to keep things moving along, I'll do the Shadow of Oil. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I so, don't know if well, Do you want to describe what it looks like as it triggers? And then go ahead and target yourself uh, and cast the spell. Yeah, there we go. That's what I did. Uh, it's, I think, because we've got new fancy tattoos. I feel <laughs> like it's just like the... The tree roots that are like on her arms begin to just like extend out to all of her. And it's just more like tree roots. 
Oh, damn. Cool. That and did Daphne her? just turn into a tree? I love it. <laughs> she <laughs> picks a theme and she sticks to it. I love it. I was asking if I want to do radiant damage to myself. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not going to hellish rebuke myself either. No. <laughs> Ow, stop it. <laughs> uh, and then we'll be an idiot and look up to the sky because we want to keep an eye out for this thing. <laughs> and that'll Get do an it. acid drop in your eyeball. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll, I'll do like a cover thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should do it. Okay. On the top of the round, oh, the lightning arcs across <laughs> and massive arches <laughs> as it or arcs across. Um, and as they do, I have to look this up again. Okay. I don't like that. I don't like when David has to look so <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I need Daphne. Or here, I'll call it out for you guys so you can see it. No. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, pretty much all of you guys. Um, dupe. Whoa, what just happened? I don't know, but nothing popped up on my screen. Yeah, no, no, no. If it's not there, we can't roll. Oh, no. um, (laughs) We all succeed. Ah, Yeah. Um, All right. I need dexterity saving throws from the falling six people. I'll start with Yanni. Is that not everyone? That is everyone, yes, except for Sila. I'm going to restart real quick. Because cool. it is chugging. Oh, it just froze when I rolled. Yeah. Well, guess we all have to re-roll. Crazy. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Should we all just do a refresh? Yes, please. Thank you. Refresh. Refresh. No, 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 no,
I don't imagine it's a spell. It is. A or spell. a magical effect. It yep. is. Yes. I don't know if it's the a shield failure, counts but like, does that mean it takes it up a notch for you? Uh, holding the shield, you have advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects. Oh, roll one more dex save. Okay. <gasps> Yay! 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 That's not a fail. Thirty points of lightning damage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. Do you do you take do you take half if you fail? Does it do that, or is it mm -mm. or is it you just take everything? Mm -hmm. um, I just take it all. Man. Take it all. All right, uh, Darian, oh. you take half. But I was also resistant to it because I saved because I absor absorb elements, right? The spell um, captures some of the incoming energy. You have resistance to the triggering damage type until the start of your next turn. Okay, that is the last one. So yes, seven points. So that would be Argenti too, right? Because Argenti yes. used... Yeah, because he hasn't gone Oh, either. Oh, cool. I was just reading about this spell that I used. <laughs> I was like, Thank oh. You. Um, and then, Bursa, you save as well. <laughs> so that is 15 to 7. Awesome. Now... Whom you see appear. Kind of like uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> landing on the stone right by um, Argenti, Lyra, oh. and Daphne is this titanic woman with vaguely fey elements to her. You can see pointed oh. ears, uh, silvery hair cascading down. She's currently wearing that helmet that she has with black and uh, silver inlaid. Uh, she's wearing kind of a relatively form-fitting outfit. There is definitely a bit of a breastplate uh, protecting her as well. But overall, it's just, it's very similar to a an Amazon, potentially more in, in uh, uh, armor. Um, and as she kind of uh, stands there, you can see that she has a shield in her hand and she's wielding lightning, currently in the shape of an axe in her hand as it reforms itself into a long uh, uh, spear. She kind of looks across all of you. You can see her turquoise blue eyes just shining at all of you as she says, I am going to make you pay for killing my father. And that is where we're going to leave it for this week's session. Yanni, point the magnifying glass over there. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, cool. I'm going to... Do we have one of those that we have? Yeah. Um, I'm going to say, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. We always stream Tuesdays at 9 p.m. Eastern. Um, if you guys would like to follow us, click that little follow button so you guys get those updates when we jump back on. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching tonight. We're super excited to see you guys again next Tuesday. Um, and absolutely, if uh, yeah, if you, again, want to follow any more of this stuff, also head on over to polyhedra.io. That's the website where we have our games all organized and that kind of stuff. But thank you guys all so much for watching. We'll see you guys next week.